Yeah, which what, there's like three. This is the new. This is the new. This Owl, the goth there. girl, goth culture. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is the. Is this a new? Is he with this girl? Yeah, we were neglecting. No, it's, like, it's all just over Skype. Oh, uh, this one looks weird. Yeah. Uh. I don't think he's ever going to go back into a hotel after. No, he'll never end up in a hotel with a female again. <laughs> I love the intro. Yeah, that was the best content he's ever put out. My fellow aliens, this is the Happy Alien Podcast. I said that very weirdly. There's a lot of things in my mouth today, and they're not all words. But I'm bump. This is the Happy Alien Podcast. This is the exclusive live mean? stream guest members only edition. And we got a special guest today. We're gonna have ourselves a pretty good time with a third beautiful woman in a row. But more importantly, will she be my wife at the end of this? That is the question on everybody's mind for today's episode. But that being yeah, said, I think this will be good. To watch I just want to let everybody <laughs> for a minute or two. Yeah. What about will she be my wife? No, this is a judgment free show. People want me to say gotcha moments against the guest and stuff like that per their opinions or their Mike, I don't think anyone has any expectations for this show. That's not what this show is about. This show No, I'm surprised he's even done more than one episode. Where me, I just want to get to know people and talk and find out what makes them tick. Because truthfully, I believe we're all. Where is he finding this gutter trash? Now that being said, you know I mean, what he's today, getting yeah. like he's had three women in a row on his show. Out. I'll give she him a little bit of on her Instagram <laughs> that she is a YouTuber, a lime slayer. I don't know what a lime slayer is. We got to talk about that. She's a metalhead. Rock on! I I love some eighties metalheads. She's a gothic dreamer. That is pretty. Man, Mike's like into it, dude. He's. I mean, I know I got I mean, it a little bit sped up, but he, but even then, like he's just like. He's, he's like horned up. Yeah, he's, he's excited. His his, his blood his blood's flowing. Yeah, interesting. She's a model. That's how I fell in love with her. She's also a guitarist. <laughs> I mean, hey, if it takes a little bit of like pussy, dangling some pussy in front of his face to get him, you know, going and give him into the right spirit, you know, maybe that's what he needs. A soap yeah, no. maker, and we yeah. all need to be clean. So I got to get some soap. She's a gamer. A crumb of pussy. Basically, I'm calling her the goth culture expert. You a gamer, dude? Welcome into today's show, The Midnight Owl Herself. Hello. Hello. Introduce you. yourself to everybody. Hi. Hi. Wow. So, I'm Midnight Owl. That's my YouTube name. What I usually use on Instagram and TikTok. But in real life, my name is Adriana. And yeah, I just like talking with people, meeting new people. Does she have an OnlyFans? Music and like yeah, that it's and a, it's a, he doesn't know it's a trend. Awesome I was going to say. <laughs> goth culture <laughs> it's, expert because i like that, that moniker it's that's so probably good. a dude but would you say that's what you are i wouldn't say i'm a goth um, culture expert like by any means but i why is it i think they're high <laughs> <in the laughs> this level. person serve their <laughs> i love their soap PFP. it's like mike but like, <laughs> like... <laughs> the fact that i like goth music i like, like gothly inclined things like wearing all black or like skulls and vampires and stuff like that. Um, you know, gothic literature, like Edgar Allan Poe, um, you know, just like the different style of clothing and makeup and stuff. Like I do my makeup quite extreme as you can see. So yeah, I mix all, all those types of things. But as far as like the goth uh, subculture, that's like a lot. So I don't think a lot of people know, but that aren't in it, you know what I mean? But there's goth and then there's gothic. So I am Mike. <laughs> goth, yeah, it's two different things. <laughs> Believe it or not. So goth is basically anybody that listens to goth music. That's like literally it. Like you can dress however you want. It has nothing to do with like your appearance or like. It's crazy that goth is still a subculture yeah, goth, in goth 2024. Goth somebody more like me who's into. It's like exclusively just women too. Is it? When's the last time you saw a goth guy? <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, we had a When's the last time I saw a 1984? And she's a. I've never seen. Expert. But she's also <laughs> yeah, as well. probably and during the episode. I don't, I don't see any IRL goss. It's just an e thing, yes, internet thing, and you know. I'm kind of the type of person that like. I mean, this is good for Mike because he can just have his pants off. He doesn't. It, it's almost better that he's not at a hotel because he could just discreetly rub one out. You know what I mean? Over That's the game. Why he's so happy? <laughs> yeah, he's his pants are not on right now. 
no. I don't really want to associate with witches because I grew up a little bit religious mm -hmm. and so on and so forth. But like, would you consider yourself in any aspect a witch as well with all the symbolism and, and the culture that you're experiencing? I would like, assume so. So I did watch some of the podcasts that you did with the person. She's like a mall god. Look at what she's I wearing. Like divination and uh, stuff like that. But myself, so as far as like being in like the gothic community, it's like so open. I bet she'd like, like blow religious, you in like, the no fucking Catholic, stall of the bathroom. Or atheists, or you know like, what I mean? Yeah. Or whatever. It's, nice. like, it's literally everything. If you, like, you made eye contact with her at the food court. Everybody. So at the auntie, so auntie Anne's. Anne's. Yeah. yeah. What's the you're at the, pretzel? You're at the, you're at the Sparrow and she's so getting a pretzel stuff in her fat yeah, face. Sparrow. Um, so and you make I, eye contact I, and I, I don't stick to any, any one particular religion, but I. <laughs> he he lowers so, it down too far and it's just his dicks. Yeah, <laughs> I think lots of people have like a stigma like, oh my Whoops. god, you know, everybody's a Satanist or. Sorry about that. It's not. Everybody's completely different. So yeah. So I do. I'm not. I don't consider my witch like at all. But, all right. You know, um. Them. No, since no one's checked, I'll go out or something. Quick. You know, sometimes I'll what? Like, I have a witch See if she has a OnlyFans. You know I mean? That was a beautiful statement. Uh, Her? You said that we could all be religious as well. Midnight as Owl. Because I'm a. She's got a link. She's got a link. She's got a link tree. I like to place puzzle pieces together. Oh no! Real or fake or manipulated? You know they call me. No, OnlyFans. And they make me look. Does she have a worse one than that? No. Like one of the weird ones. It's like no. The most degenerate thing she has is TikTok. Conspiracy theorist. All right. That road. Once there. She has a Mercari and eBay list. They she probably sells trinkets that she makes. And they Let hit me see here. At the end of that road, because everything is a lie, and then their anger. Yeah, just a bunch of piddly crap about the world, and yeah. they want to show everybody the truth. Does it look like stuff she made? Is a liar? Uh, no, it's like resell. Okay. I mean, there's some soap there, so maybe. Uh, I see some soap again because we're seeking love in our hearts. We're not. Oh yeah, homemade items. Yeah, so some of it, some of it's or yeah. injure people. We're just seeking she the truth. She should open so an the, Etsy the store. Conspiracy people, in um, opinion, we go down shit. the spiritual road while we she probably do better on Etsy road or that journey. Or so Patreon. Interesting for you to say that um, I don't sell on Etsy. There's a lot of people into this culture, homemade. and we have an idea of it as satanic or as of devil worship, because that's kind of how I feel, and that's I mean. I'm starting. I don't know whether it's my old age or not, but I'm starting to like. I can fall 3D in love print with like style. little Pokemon figures. You know what I mean? Animal but I don't know if I like the culture or the symbolism. I could shut down. But like, you're a gorgeous know. woman to me. I don't know how I crazy love all Nintendo the hair, the outfits. I might not agree with the symbolism or whatever you got, but I'm like, like I said, maybe it's old age. But I'm starting to fall in love, and I'm like, wow, am I going down a dark path? <laughs> Man, he is. He's red. He is beat red right now. <laughs> yeah, like, dude. <laughs> Stubborn. Yeah, I mean, he's almost fifty years old, and, and this chick is probably like maybe he, thirty-five. Yeah. So he's like, he's fifty years he's old. Dead. He lives in a box. What has he got to lose? You know, <laughs> it's just pretty interesting. But thank you for that statement. So, um, let's get into a loaded. Oh, that went bye bye a long time ago. Uh, what is the goth? lifestyle like from your perspective because you said you live the goth lifestyle okay so i mean for, this is like my so my lifestyle i my life is, uh well it's putting on clothes and, and makeup yeah <laughs> basically <laughs> pretty, pr pretty much that's it yeah yeah putting on makeup like a geisha and uh in listening to music I like decorate my home with like yeah like like what more could it be the, the things like you can't really see all what stuff, music would they like, even be listening to and the skulls and like the candy fucking candy uh the cure like, my chemical <laughs> romance and yeah maybe the cure i think that like you like you know how i was saying before it has nothing to do with like, for me it has nothing to do with like you know oh yeah hey yeah. i listen to gregory uh, uh, enigma <laughs> I just like the, uh, enigma i like you know like certain movies the stuff i listen movies, to like the dracula movies and stuff like that you know, certain style like i dye my hair like part red part black bullet for my valentine with other people who are into the same things that, that i am like you know discussing music with people or like fashion and makeup yeah there was like a kid like in my grade like who played you know, asshole with us on cool study hall I, I've he was like an emo not goth but emo 
Yeah, some people listen to all those it, shitty bands. For me, it's not. You know, I feel like oh, it's a nice place. To yeah, we were talking around. about that last stream with the architecture there sometimes. You know, <laughs> the good like, Charlotte the photography and stuff. Mm. So for me, like, well, no, this is a different guy. sixteen-year-old yeah, Hillary Duff when well, he yeah. was twenty-five. Yeah, another interesting <laughs> fact that you brought up just now. That's like, crazy. You mentioned you're into cemeteries and architecture. Well, again, everything is built nowadays like a box. And there's buildings from supposedly only, you know, speaking of which years ago, but they were built and you can't even build these buildings with today's equipment. Like these, every building now is a box, mm -hmm. you know, like in a matrix, like a cubicle, like you're in a video game <laughs> and cemeteries. You're right. It's got a beautiful aesthetic. Um, and it's really interesting. Mike's going to be like us. He's going to start going into like how like you remember a modern architecture is demoralizing and how like McDonald's need to go back to having play places. <laughs> play places and all the creatures on the walls. Yeah. Figures, or the fucking people in the little stands for the toys every time the new toys. Oh, out. yeah, dude. Yeah. Dude. Remember I, there was the Super Mario Bro 3. Look about display. That. Like, oh yeah, those pop up on eBay from time to time. Dude, the one that I saw was like never used. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It was like perfect. And they wanted nine hundred and ninety nine dollars. Well dude, I mean to get one of those that's I'm that's not a terrible deal. I mean to get one of those because those are so like I never, I didn't um, have a mother. How many do you think like, existed? The TV was my mother. Right. Basically. Not only that, but like to keep them in like good condition. Like and all that. It's just nowadays. It's yeah, they weren't ever, the they got thrown and out. Probably the reasons I'm like, oh, I love Because her. they got changed out her. like, what, like monthly? About, are you a fan? You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, so, like, yeah. You don't have to reveal it. So like, you know, the employees are just like, get rid of this fucking cardboard. That lifestyle as well. So, um, get rid of this literal trash. <laughs> That's what it is. Yeah, I was no, it was the backdrop from in the Wendy's in the toy display. Oh, yeah. See, here, this one's uh, 1300 It was like the backdrop that the toys would sit on in the display. Yeah, this, this one's in pretty, this one's in pretty pristine condition. There was the Sonic one in, uh, settled here. Wendy's yeah. had. So we're, you know, Italians are just huge into Was it Wendy's so I literally or see McDonald's? No, McDonald's was Sonic. Um, yeah. Okay, McDonald's. And dude, they, they dude, Wendy, work. Wendy's never got any of the good toys. <laughs> Wendy's toys were always fucking I mean, garbage. Like, you know, my walls. Are they good with? Like here, uh, or this lifestyle? yeah, the raccoon one uh, was Mario. Like, do you walk out every? She's day into doors, and tribute like, man, or and then people are like, oh, I have that raccoon is. Mario toy in so, my safe. When I, definitely when I was growing up. Is it the one we had with, as kids? Because we used uh -huh. to have, yeah. Uh -huh. My parents were just like, oh my god, like what? There's a reason it's in the safe, dude. <laughs> what is happening? They would be like, what can happen to that? Why was there a funny <laughs> super chat that came up? Oh my, growing up, you know, I was a teenager. Oh, that guy, yeah. Dressed that way. You know, but my my father would literally call me Elvira, and my and I would have these because I had these huge black like combat boots that I would wear, and he would sometimes call me Frankenstein. Because remember, like Frankenstein's monster had like a huge like. Yeah. <laughs> if your dad, if your dad's calling you Elvira, that's kind of weird. And, and this like super super. Well, the Frankenstein thing is one thing, but like Elvira is like a super sexualized. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, character. Yeah. So he used to call me Frankenstein, and like, but they would let me go up. Like I went to concerts and I went to goth clubs and stuff like that. They let me go. They never made they never made me feel bad about my choices or how I wanted to dress. But they kind of just joke, you know what I mean? Joke with me about it. I mean, to this day, my father will be like. What like what are you doing with your hair? He's like, why don't you just dye your hair? Brown? What are you doing with your hair? Yeah, Come exactly. on, let's eat some chicken cutlets, baby. Come on, you're my you're my Italian daughter. Come on. <laughs> but what they, the for the most part, they've, they've accepted it and they know like this is me. Same thing. Like, and I'm really close with my cousins. My It'd be great if during this the middle of the interview, yeah, Michael just thing. like pulls out some like a Tupperware container of some food, and, now it's just like, and you can't really identify what it is, but he's just okay. eating it. Where I'm at, okay, yeah, that's yeah, just mushy slop. Yeah, just mushy slop out of a Tupperware. Honestly, like. So I don't. Really, I only dress like this or look like this maybe like thirty percent of the time. Because yeah, it's a lot of work. It's a lot yeah, of work. Twenty yeah, percent. I'm just lazy, and I'm. I'm like, I'm not good. doing my hair. I'm not putting on this makeup. It costs I, a lot of money. Like too. Uh, some porn. Years, some right? porn star yeah, killed herself this week. The hair <laughs> yeah, with the shock. I wasn't familiar with her. Yeah, so Cagney Lynn. I literally have swept Yeah, shotgun was oh that so she did it, she did blow her brains out with a shotgun. Yeah, dude. Dude, I thought that was I thought that was just a shit like, post. That's fucked up, man. 
Because he has. He's it's like it's like, like fucking. Like, uh, uh, what like every yeah, six yeah, months no, a big one you know, kills like, himself, like a, a one of these uh, girls. That's I like, can't remember the last time. I just see it on Twitter where it'll be like, oh, porn star so and so fucking hung themselves or something. It's just like what the fuck is going on? They do they do kill themselves from time to time. Yeah, just like soul, just like soul, like soul uh, destroying. Uh, but a, a shot, a shotgun blast. Yeah. That's yeah. fucking Aquarius. Yeah. I think that uh, they're well. They're, uh, that's why I hear about them because they're so brutal all the time. I'm pretty sure like one girl like hung herself. As I was talking to like uh, recently or something like that. I don't know. I just see it on like I don't know. Because like all those like it's drama. Alert. I, number three. I saw a drama alert was reporting on that. Do you want the drama? The one that shot herself. It's just like Jesus Christ. Official gothic or Does gothic somebody just ate a again, shotgun? I don't understand the true nature of it. But do you have an age frame where you're like, this is my enjoyment, this is my lifestyle, or did it gradually go on? Yeah, meanwhile, I meanwhile, I Ramon is just uh, chilling. Middle school. Middle school. Yeah, Ram Ramon's, like, Ramon's living. Hey, his, Ramon's living hey, his hey, best hey, life. Was, yeah, he's, he's like sixty. And you, you, people, when people post pictures of him, I don't know where people find these pictures of him. If he has like an Instagram or something, but people will post him in TV threads, and he just looks like his soul has just been totally stolen from his body. Yeah. He's like just like such a husk of like a person. Italian, but we also had a porn star. And I didn't know if they were gone. Uh, suck started a twelve gauge. I called them the. Uh, I was like, oh, those are the Cure Kids. They're they're into more. Cagney Lynn. They're into groups like that, you know. Cagney like, Cagney Lynn Carter. Like, man, don't drink, don't smoke. What do you she do? Like, started a shotgun. But they were not called guns um, until I saw it. In I don't. Movie. Yeah, I don't recognize her. Eight years later, I started realizing. There's so many. Nineteen eighty-seven. Is that how it started? Were you into the gear, the schmish? Oh, no, she was so only for me, it was metal at me first. I will, like, was in, like I said, Metallica. Oh, she was in a Louis Theroux documentary, Twilight of the Porn Stars. I'm like, oh my, what is this music? I'm like, this is. She released an EP. Totally, because I was listening to you know pop music on the radio, like Debbie Gibson and New Kids on the Block. There's that. Uh, there's. My first concert was New Kids on the Block. People are always posting that. Mine was Millie Vanilli. That one porn star. Oh, I love them. I went the night they got caught for lip syncing. I went that actual night at the damn. The Universal Amphitheater. It was Young MC. The one she, that beat up. The one that beat up Alice. They, went, they were on an international. I'm Have you seen how terrible Alice from IP2 looks? Oh like yeah, she's she terrible. Dude, she gained so much now weight. It's crazy. Pretty much. But and she like chopped her hair off. Holy shit, she's gone like full bull dike. It's then nut. They came to LA and then Amanda the Bynes, dude. Now what the, the fuck even is that? The song "Blame It on the Rain" and everything else. Like she doesn't. Uh, is that even her? So now they got on stage. That's supposedly her. Oh, she's been like she's looked like that for a while. Just bloated know, with that so face that tattoo. An article in a magazine. Yeah, whoa. Yeah. Like, and that's Jesus why everybody was watching Christ. them, and then they realized they lip sync on on that performance. She's talking and about Millie Vanilli. Them, and then it became even more viral with that article that was written. So I was a part of M Millie Vanilli history. I love oh, yeah. that, and I still sure. I really, probably maybe sure, Mike. Sure. five years ago I went and bought the CD again. <laughs> I yeah, I do not believe him. I think At he's all. making it up. Yeah. Do you know what's the name of the album? I can't even think of it. Is it Blame oh, It on the Rain? It might be. It might. That might be. Yeah. Blame I it on the rain. I, I know it's true. I just know James had like a cassette. I think he stole it or something. Yeah, so it was like a cassette of Millie Vanilli that we would like bump in his in his Subaru. Yeah, I just one of the songs is like it's like blame it on the rain, New York extended subway mix or something. Yeah, but then they sued Napster and I got pissed off. Dude, their album, uh, the the last album they produced, only released a thousand copies, I think, or something like that. It's super valuable. It's worth over a hundred dollars. They were in the system billy vanilli's yeah, third album system. and one, the one they released joke about that you remember after, group rage against the machine uh the one they got well, caught they you know rage what i'm saying the yeah the last yeah. album they put out and then only sold and they, like no, I forgot the a thousand uh, copies and that's it. all that exists of it you, or something like that yeah. Yeah. It's, <laughs> alternative concert it's worth that quite that a bit of money but nowadays brand new i think it's worth hundreds you know what i mean id jab commercial man one one man's garbage Go take the jet. Yeah, exactly. It's another crazy Are collector's treasure. For the machine? Some insane person. You know what other uh, music is worth thousands of dollars for like CDs? A whole PSA that they um, for. Tell everybody rare opera singers. Yeah. Oh, Mike's Children. Mike's talking about the Vax. Hold up. Oh, here we go. A whole I didn't second commercial. A few years back, 
they made a COVID jab mm. commercial. Hey, everybody, we're Rage Against the Machine. Go take the jab. Wait a oh. second. I don't remember that. Did he do that? Jesus Christ. If they did, they, no, it, if they did, it was fucking, uh, what's his name? Tom Morello. Tom, Tom Morello. Dude, Zach, Tom Morello is think, such a fag. <laughs> I don't think Zach De La Roca's had anything to do with Rage Against the Machine since like 2008. Uh, I mean, they're all fucking commies. And then before shit. that, he hadn't had anything to do with them for like a decade before that. So like they haven't even been a band for like almost twenty years. You know what I mean? I don't know, uh, dude. They they went but full they think, went full uh, commie forty years ago. Where you, they've always been. Zach De La Roca's parents were like literal communists. Yeah, they're communists <laughs> from uh what? The Next, his dad his dad is some like well, Mexican that, commie, and like his mom is the other some, ones like, are just like normal, Black Panther liberal. Boone or something. I don't think that Zach De La Roca tours with them. I think they have like some other guy sing lead. For a while, it was Chuck D. They were having Chuck D from fucking Public Enemy. Oh, a communist. <laughs> yeah. Chuck they had D's, him. Chuck uh, D sucks. They had him leading the group for a while oh, that, there. Oh, that shit's terrible. Are you raging for the machine? I didn't know that. Like, I, yeah, I, never, have, saw that. I never saw that. that they have a whole show. PSA. A whole PSA that they got. He's probably misremembering. Everybody to take the vax jab. I can't even say it on YouTube. Look, no. man, I'm against the vax as much as the next guy. But if I were Michael Ray Bauer, I'd keep my mouth shut about it and not, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like as much as he talks about it, it's like, dude, like don't you're not one to be like, yeah, they took criticizing down, like, people's for like taking a vaccine when you're like fucking 400 pounds. So, I am. Oh. Blown. Okay, but back to the metal bands, man. Let's go. 80s hair metal. I don't think I ever listened to Audio Slave. Is, Audio Slave was was afterwards. That's well, I know it's it's had, it's Tom Morello, and then isn't it the Soundgarden? It's all of, it's all of Rage Against the Machine except for Zach De La Roca, and then that new that other guy is lead singer. Isn't it Chris Cornell? Is it? I don't know. I never listened to them. My music taste is so wide. Like you said, I never. It was Chris Cornell. I love that stuff. That's like some of my favorite. Music. I still go to, but it was just like, like the bands that still play. Yeah, out, you know, and then they. I couldn't uh, tell you a single song. They've just had and just and cycled through uh, lead singers. You yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> so I still love that stuff, and I I like all, for me I like all different types of music. So it's not just I don't stick to one thing. But as far as getting into the goth stuff, it was when I was like, a, yeah. Mr. Blue, Mr. Blue must have, like fallen asleep or something, dude. I don't know. He was on mushrooms. He said. Oh, he was on mushrooms. I thought he yes. was. <laughs> I thought he was just yes. like taking a bunch of different types of no. doink. No, oh, that's that too. Shrooms. That's he too ate mushroom chocolates. Dude, that's he, what I was waiting for him to come on. Dude, there's no way he's not sleep. He's 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 awake. He's, 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 he's yeah. He's probably he's just trying to get in here. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say there's. He's, he's not going to sleep for a laps. while. Yeah, and he was getting super introspective. Did you were you reading that shit? He was like. He was nah, like just... talking about how he was talking about how like he just like he's just like can't like find nothing interests him anymore. Like it's just work, work, work. Like he has no no interests outside of work anymore. That's incredibly like, depressing. <laughs> but whatever. It's like it's like it's just the mushrooms getting to you, dude. You know what I mean? When you start self examining. Well, he's probably that's what, he's probably having a bad trip. He needs to come here and <laughs> see how much better his life is compared to Michael Ray Power. Yeah, he's just like, well, no, he was given this mushroom chocolate from the weed store as a sample. That's really how I got into it. Yeah, so I mean, he wasn't even like planning a bird of all You feathers. never take uh, mushrooms if you're not planning on it. Never your, take them on a whim. That's the spirit. worst decision again, I've ever made. Is that eating mushrooms just like that. in front of the outside, show, Sawyer had them. That they're a witch and it was just like, they're oh, you have mushrooms today? Yeah, give me an eighth. I'll eat it right now. I'll buy it and eat an eighth right now. And it's just like, oh, wait a minute. Do I really want to do this for the next six hours? Too late. I ate it. You know what I mean? And then it's just like, shit. At any given moment, sit here without trip. any judgment. Well, I don't, I don't like mushrooms, so, but I, so I can't really say that because, like, I just, I, I only don't like mushrooms because I hate, I just hate taking them. Like, it just, it so, it just makes me gag so much, you know. Uh, I but had, I've done, I've uh, done that with acid a bunch of times. Like, just be like, yeah, yeah sure, I'll I, take I some up, acid. And oh God, <laughs> I ended up just like laying on his couch for like the entirety of the trip. I couldn't move. You know what I mean? It was just yeah. like sucked into the couch for six hours. 
not able to even smoke a cigarette. You know what I mean? Yeah. Open. So that is one of the reasons why I'm enjoying this podcast is because I get to learn and overcome some of my issues. Um, so that brings me into a topic of um, man, God bless this girl you, for like your shelf growing just up. Just like t- what do you think being on being two hours with Bauer yeah. on this podcast it, 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 and, and having like good energy, seeing like, like, like she wants to see there. Had, like a lot of music. Like what does she think she's gonna gain artists, from this? His viewers. They got like really. I mean, I was looking at her YouTube channel and like her views aren't much better than his. You know what I mean? Yeah, but like he's nobody. That stuff. Do you think it's happening? I'd say he's, he's more of a somebody than her, though. I, I, I know, I know. But, like, it's just all these – it's, like, all these people just going on panels and doing all this stuff. They think that they're, like, big shots because they have, like, oh, I've got an interview i got to do later. You know what I'm saying? Even though it's with this fucking loser nobody, she – in her mind, she's, like, I've got an interview. She can tell somebody, oh, I've got an interview I've got to do later today. Yeah. Just like Joker with all those people during the cookie stream the other night <laughs> where they were all just in there. There's, like, five – four people plus joker like talking about you know, it. it's a mass shooting sting bat to have or just like a basis mm. of um being a good person at a riot you know I mean? with blacks I mean, well that's like anybody, yeah that's like bound to happen religion. it's just doing what i feel is good for me and for my son you know so oh she's um, got a kid as far as like the symbolism and stuff like now like in entertainment i know what you're talking about um i try not to pay too much attention to <laughs> that type of stuff because i just feel like stuff is like right now sometimes just so whacked out that I'm just like I can't I can't deal with this like I can't comprehend it like it just makes no sense to me um, yeah Mike just the ends call the, the, oh the, no we lost uh, connection I, think, I mean it's more so over in, what my son oh yeah hangs <laughs> uh, uh, it's called kill shot and it's it's a gothic uh, quote they're really well known <laughs> this person does she listen to Michael Jackson this guy's really into Michael Jackson oh, like, is the music oh no this is a different guy and I try, I Brent, think Brent a mania. That's not me. He's one of uh, Mike's um, biggest yes, uh, have, supporters. I always see him commenting. He, didn't, isn't he the one who like commented on our videos and told us to back off? I don't believe Wasn't that I don't know. Um, because I, I don't know. I, I don't <laughs> take any of that shit serious. So I'm like, <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, I'm not saying you would, but I'm saying like, like I don't remember that. I remember the good comments. I don't remember like the weird psycho ones like that. <laughs> like, so, no. Oh, oh, I don't know how I forgot to bring this up. Um, apparently, Blonde Boy's boyfriend commented. I don't really take, I don't take it too seriously as far as Oh, I had to think for a second. The guy who like Most destroyed his asshole. He said Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I forgot about the Blonde Boy. <laughs> the guy that got his that was like destroyed and then I think the destroyer of it um commented on our video saying to back off or like stay away from him don't com- don't watch any more of his stuff don't you know what i mean because it was like stay away from my boyfriend's videos or something like that that for a few more minutes it was like oh thank you very much for for jesus christ creepy very creepy we got like sick fuckers here yeah and let's call Let's call fake attracted some sick it's fuckers. Cat poster like, blonde boy was some guy you that know, we found out about. Some user, the the some user, uh, sent us, uh, user, some user sent us, not some watcher of us. It's just sent it's us a, this a guy money. saying so, check him out. So, so we did. And there's a video of him like with a walker. Make money, but then on top of yeah, you know this guy. Yeah, yeah, religious. Yeah, blonde blonde boy. He's. He's like, like he, war, his like you know, butthole got blown out or something because he's in the hospital. If, you know, the, the spirits, the angels. He's like using a walker. Whatever you call it, like and like his friends are, are like fucking war? giggling. And, you know, Remember the man, girls like it's got, like interesting thought. Do you think we're like holding a back a laugh when he's like trying to sit down? Going on, like, that video is you know, nuts. Yeah, and he and did I, extreme I, vegan I, starving compilations. You know, I have people in my life. It's like holy shit. You know, like, and they're not people that are even like, you know. Uh, He's wanted for acid attacking his girlfriend. Is he a Muslim? Nowadays, for some reason, and they're just like, oh, there's no, there's no such thing as God. No. My, my uh, jerky I made earlier came out pretty good. Like you made jerky? Did you get a dehydrator? Yeah, dude, I make jerky all the time. So growing up, my when I was like really young, my mother. The girl, uh, I shouldn't say that to that. My girlfriend yeah, like, just has like wanted one of those for a long She didn't do it as a profession or anything. The like death card. Yeah, and I don't so really want to. If you like jerky, man, it's a great uh, like jerky's so expensive, and like you know what else is saves saves so much money. 
demonic. Dehydrate like, chili. Like, Dehydrate <laughs> applesauce. Yeah. Like, you know, it's yeah. Things, it's survival like, food, dude. And then she said Making because you're doing it in the house and stuff like that. that Dehydrate like, chili house, until it's like, crunchy. Like, oh, yeah, of course. And like, some people think that, like, uh, and that's house, Jillian like, with a G, not a J. Thank you. You can bag it. You can bag it. And fucking never store it and, and then rehydrate it. So I believe her when she said later she or it. take it with you. And that's why and for me, now I hate you that know what I'm saying? I you can rehydrate I chili. Applesauce. Shit like that. So I stay, I you can fill a fucking jar with it. Take it with you. Yeah, you you were talking about tarot cards and to bring it back to your water conspiracy. Have you ever heard of the Illuminati? That's what I was going to say. And I was like, I don't know if I, what I can Have say. Have you ever heard of the Jews? <laughs> Every one yeah. of my episodes has been censored. Yeah. So Have you ever heard of the, the Kabbalah? I'm actually able to make it through donations. Have you heard of the they had Oh, I love soft game. beef jerky. Out, I think in the... In the oh, my the, God. Soft the beef jerky is the best. This, 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 stuff, stuff, this stuff was... Uh, it was called the Illuminati card game. And this, it had like... I didn't try it out too, too much. Cards. And the soft beef jerky, like it's got to be like, what's going on here where they're making an event this stuff or like something. this? And, oh my god, I have a you know, giant slim names. There's like the Trump uh, card, the, the, the NASA thing. card, and a lot of these cards, now, many years later, we look at events, and we look at the pictures in the card deck for the Illuminati card game, and all of these events happened. They literally happened. So when they say the Illuminati or the people, that maybe aliens or whoever's controlling the world, they can see the future or they manipulate it to what they want. So therefore, these images of the card game that came out 20, 30, 40 years ago, the future is being shown to us, whether it be in TV and movies and card games. So that kind of makes me tend to believe that somebody is in control and making all this stuff happen, you know, and then they have meetings. We That's a big story for another day, but. I just didn't know if you knew about the Illuminati card game because we were talking about tarot cards. I've never heard of that before. I want to look into it now. Uh, I'm super interested yeah. in like, reading it, about it and seeing it's what you're pretty, talking it's about. It's pretty interesting. Um, there's a photo with the two towers exploding and a plane in it, and the card game came out in like 1988 or something like that. And you got to think, it's like The Simpsons. You, you, the Simpsons predicts everything. Show does, shows like Family Guy. There's Dude, a they have a playlist on world. Disney Plus they were on called. TV shows the Simpsons predicted, predicts, like, you know, and years it's just early. all the time really, really interesting. Shit. That's um, <laughs> yeah, that's why everything nowadays scares me, man. I'm afraid. I don't know what's real or fake. I don't know if we live in the Matrix. <sighs> the Black Cube Matrix. All right. Let me uh, no one tell if ba if Bauer ever catches on to the Jews, he's just gonna completely lose it. He will just be yeah. killer. He's gonna start coming here. <sighs> and Spurg posting for twelve hours a day. Yeah, if he really like looked into things, and starts looking into nine eleven, starts looking into other events, and it's just like, you know what? I'm not gonna be afraid anymore. I'm not gonna. Yeah, I'm not afraid anymore. I my theory is that dude, there's no way he can't be like a little bit hip to the JQ, but he lives he in has to, if he lives like, he lives in Hollywood and he wants to have a career in Hollywood, so he plays brain, it safe. He's just gonna see it. You're just gonna recognize pa the brain. Well, the, recognizes anyone, patterns. It, quote, uh, the anyone with a brain. Man, yeah. I don't think Michael. Let me get this. If he had one at one point, the brain recognizes patterns. When you start seeing um, Stein, I made a video a while back about Gothic, Wits, Instagram and all these models, other different things at the end of last names that you're like working like, for, movie after movie, movie, show after movie, show, show after show after fucking show. In the Gothic world, the Gothic fashion world. But I made a comment because uh, one of these persons is like a Gothic Instagram B movie horror scream star or whatever. But these gothic models, again, albeit they're beautiful, they sell sex a lot. They sell sexual activity, this and that. But on top of that, believe me, I know. It, but they have like oh, yeah. of needles going in their arms or oh, knives at their throat or B L O O D dripping from their eyes. And then no. pretty much Can you not say blood on YouTube? I don't know, but that's weird, right? Yeah. That's weird. Naked. Oh, come take me, gothic prince. You know, or something, but they're like half naked and everybody's, oh, you're so beautiful. Like they're representing blood and death to me. And that boggles my mind because I don't want to die. Like, so I don't understand. Like, but it weirdly turned me on. Sometimes in the gothic world or the modeling gothic world that they celebrate sexuality because that'll get everybody interested. Oh. Then on top of that, it's D-E-A-T-H and all that other stuff. And then just to round it out before I ask you the question, the reason why I, I had this 
image in my head. It was during C O V I D, the jab time. Okay, like models, actresses, artists would always promote pictures of the time to go to rumble oh my god if you put on the spawn mask that would be amazing <laughs> you just wore that the whole time but hey i'm not gonna judge her that's not me I if you could pay him to put on the spawn mask like you could pay dsp to put on the vest <laughs> syringes into her the puffy her vest neck. and then there was like a couple of people with knives and there was blod all around and then she said the mike, disease gets me dude. The di- and me man in that post so that's that not the real for d a t h from yeah, no needles way. and a disease, maybe a virus. You know, that was the whole aesthetic of that imagery. But then she was doing a convention because she's an artist. <clears throat> she was doing a convention and then she made a post and she goes, if you're coming to get an autograph or a picture with me, you have to bring and prove you're jabbed or vaccinated by the company. And then she goes, because I don't want my child is going to be with me or I don't want to go home and get any disease and possibly injure or kill or hurt my child or myself. So you guys all have to prove you're, you know. She does. This woman does not care. No, neither do I. Yeah. It's never affected me. Yeah, I don't this even probably never happened. I don't even know what he's talking about. Yeah. You know, you're jabbed and everything's 2024, Mike. Time to move on. To me, when you yeah, let's move mind. on from COVID. Let's stop dwelling goes, about this I don't this want a shit. DIE. Well, uh, they don't even have the mandate. I mean, I, I, he's right. It was all fucked up, but they don't even have the mandates in uh, in Hollywood Listen, anymore. To go, if people are still worried about it. You want a DIE. If you were going to fucking die, die, you would have fucking jabbed. died. So it's I over. went off on her because she's a friend of mine. And it's not real. Oh, really? she's, an, she's an actress friend of mine. Um, she, she was on Roseanne. Um, why am I blanking on her name right now? Danielle, Danielle, something. She was in the hor- the Jason movies. Um, no, the yeah, Michael tab. Myers. I bet my job at the she nursing was, home is still getting tested. Michael Myers. Her name is Danielle something. You might know her. I don't know. Oh, so I went off on her, dude. Yeah. Like in a in a direct message, I was like, "Wow, you hypocritical! You're selling it." And I never I'm got the shot. Want D- I'm like, "What are you?" Right. Like, and then she responds. Yourself. She's like, "Who are you? What is?" <laughs> She didn't like that too much, bro. I can only imagine how many shots interesting story. have been mandated. So it made me. It, it makes me a little bit mad. At, by the healthcare field at this point, how many shots of COVID vaccine? What are your thoughts to work on the that type of culture? Now? Meaning being selling, seven, you know, possibly dismemberment. Oh, uh, my wife's fine. Um, but being naked. Yeah. Oh, I know, but some of those places, it seems know, like. Mike, just give me your thoughts. Sorry, I talked. To they kept pushing the boosters and stuff. <laughs> just give me your thoughts. Uh, yeah, well, it's 2024, so I'm kind of over it. <laughs> I think it was just certain companies uh, tab. I mean, they were like doing this. I think it's just certain people. I don't know what it was. I I don't think it was ever like really mandated, but like my wife did get a. It's like you said, like she was doing one thing, and then when she got signed off, like a fake. Not a fake note. It was an actual. Fake her for getting that type of thing saying she got it. I'm more of like I got fired over COVID, uh, not getting you know, like vaccinated. The, the, the vampire type look of the but yeah, I'm not gonna idea. fucking really dwell on it. But the, yeah, no. The, the, Every once in a while, it's like, no, yeah, I hate. Them. Oh, you can still hate them, but Michael didn't even. Michael was just chilling at home, defrauding uh, <laughs> unemployment, defrauding uh, unemployment the entire time. That's just never really been my thing. I mean, like Dracula, you know, like that whole aspect is cool, but like the whole gore and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm not into that. But like I do, I mean I do like. You can't lose a job if you were never working. Internet, but not for real life, you know. Yeah, power was just leech max. Like, I don't want any of that stuff happening to me in real life. But I think that uh, you know, there's certain types of you know models. There's ones that are you know just dress more elegantly. It's like you know, no one in, in the dark gothic is a step. I didn't get um, all of my Trump stimulus. Ones that you're, you're talking about, I think it's just for basically like I think for shock value. You know what? You know, it's like. You don't know why. Do that too, you know, don't really value. care. Don't have, but, like, they're, but they're also, <clears throat> ooh, forgive me, they're also idolized. And that's what scares me is because I don't want to idolize um, D-E-A-T-H or mm-hmm. any of stuff like that. But when they get sexual or they show me their skin because I'm a horny man, I'm like, oh! But then... Uh, I think I made too much money stuff, at one point. It kind of freaks me out, you know? Like, yeah, don't believe I, in false idols, they say. Don't believe in false idols. I, uh, I mean, I... 
I, and I like, you know, for even me too, like, you know, I do post like pictures on Instagram and stuff. Like, I like to be like a little bit sexy and like show a little bit of skin. You know, I know. Like, what's, what I, trust I'm, me, I know. What I, Late at night, you don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> it's what I'm comfortable with. You what? Know what I mean? Um, what did he know, just allude to? Like Beating off to her? So, like, right? Well, like, Where? Sure uh, it's like an artistic. Walk, her you know Tumblr? I mean? and do you want to be popular? Maybe. With 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 all the YouTube and everything that you do, like <clears throat> her name is Midnight fame? Owl. That's like her social media on the bottom. Like, you can look her up below. It? Um, she doesn't have an OnlyFans. So. Like yeah, he just said he jerks off to her pictures, but which pictures? Wait, did he say that exactly? Yeah, yeah, he said he says, "You know what I'm doing tonight." Late at night, you don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah. I do post like pictures on Instagram and stuff. Like I like to be like a little oh. bit sexy and like show a little bit of skin. You know, I know. Like, what's, what's, Trust I'm, me, I know. What I <laughs> yeah, he does. Yeah, so he's just talking. He's just like, well, he's serious. Look at him. Yeah, he's, he's like, dead serious. Like, don't like look at him. He's like, I know. She's yeah, totally. She's I'm she's like. totally cool about it. Um, Late at night, you don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> it's what I'm comfortable with. You know what I mean. Um, because there's nothing, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. You're comfortable in your skin. Midnight, Midnight Owl. Owl. 16. It's like an artistic walk, you know I have a mean? cold, and so I sound. With, with, with all the YouTube Good. and everything that you do, like, <clears throat> do you actually want fame or you just like making the content and sharing your world? Like, how do you, do you just that? want fame? <laughs> I like doing it. Um, I. So I, I don't know why. Had, what are you did, doing? But yeah, Michael, women don't look like her, and the, they're not for attention. You know. Yeah. He was old, old, it was my ex, my boyfriend's father. He was a photographer, and he would teach me about photography. Um, and he had like a like a dark room, and he used to like develop film and stuff like that. And he used to huh? help me a lot. I was so into photography, and I used to like when I would go out to I had a video camera. Remember the big shoulder ones with like the VHS tapes? Yeah. Like I had those. Like I was into like video and like photography and everything. And I took a photo What's with the class, zoom? So I was really into it, and I started doing modeling. This poor girl, everyone's saying, is this true? Goth magazines, and it's not. I don't. Think. It's no, it's not. It's not a true. But like, I, I feel. <laughs> see, this is what trends have. Bad. This is what trends have no, done. Yeah. Like any any they sort of ruined this, more, this I, facial, I like this face. Yeah, she's got the. She's yeah, got sharp features. This gal has sharp features. Different countries and, and stuff, you know, because it's so hard. And it looks like a, it could be a man with a chiseled down like, jaw. Like, she's really you know mid. I mean? She's really mid with the You're big. Italian in Boston. She probably looked better without all the. I hate like all like makeup like this, but like the hair nose. and everything. How about these apples? That big nose and but, uh, the pointy jaw. That's a huge. You know, that is a huge red flag. And the things that I like, the music and and like you know. Um, uh, architecture, like I like to like vlog different places, uh, like go to different. Countries. Nah, she said she's like, Italian. Cool, like scenery and stuff like that. Yeah, you know, that's so, awesome. That's a dream of mine too. But I ain't got the money. I ain't, yeah, I ain't I got the help. Yeah, she does. She does look like a Dago. You got to remember, yeah, Ash, Ashkenazi like Ashkenazi Jews are like on average like sixty percent like Southern European DNA. So. You she looks there's like a, there's a re there's a reason why uh, some Italians and Jews look very similar. Through, yeah, like, no, I remember a few bucks the, uh, I remember watching the, uh, um, Ethan Klein, Gila Klein, when they took their DNA test, dude, and Ethan Klein is like 99% Ashkenazi, right. you know what I mean, and Hila's like 60%, and then like 40% Italian. I get that too, but it's like, I never heard of this product, and then they want me to click on a link, or something weird, like, oh, or something like that, Greek, or something, it's like, from Japan. she's like, bare, she's like half. from Japan. And then half and half. The money's in my bank account. And somehow yeah, Ethan's the, he, the biggest yeah, so Jew said, you know, out of them. Like, oh, we want you to promote our I just always like, remember that. It's like Ethan is the like the biggest. That's why he's the bigger. Like she's an ethnic cleanser. And Ethan's a massive. It's hard to defeat the algorithm. It really, really is. Um, but since you did admit that you try to you know supplement some income, uh. This is going to be a loaded question. Again, you do not have to answer it, but well, exactly. Boring stream. And you're a beautiful girl. And today's culture, being a corn star or something like that, is actually wanted by the youth. Like it is something to aspire to. A corn star. So would you ever do that? Would you? Would that interest you? Because let's let's be oh honest. Oh my God. They're getting paid. You know, beautiful. Why are you like asking for, for your aesthetic like? and everything? They're getting paid. Um, I think for me, no, I wouldn't do it just because. <laughs> Um, it, it's just not who I am, and honestly, I'm very self-conscious. I probably asked that question right, when, probably right when your father or yeah. your husband or your son. 
I'm so but, sorry. My timing is so bad. No, 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 no. Like, I don't feel, I don't mind answering these questions. Yeah, all. Mike's not, definitely I'm a corn addict. addict. Like, I don't, you know, I don't have anything really to hide. Um, but it's just, it's not for me. Um, like, I think that I don't want, you know, years from now when my son is older to be like, oh, my mom was on OnlyFans. You know what I mean? Like I, I said, think, though, it's becoming respectable. Maybe it's not completely there yet, but the it, it, it's kind of like starting to happen. So maybe 15 years from now, not every mother's going to get fired, you know, from teaching school for doing it. But it was just, again, when you're hard up for money, man, I always sing that song, what people do for money. Like, people think, oh, I'm rich or I'm this. Or, no, I'm not. I wonder I'm if barely Mike's making thought it about doing an OnlyFans. And I'm like, should I do OnlyFans? <laughs> should I wear a mask? Should I wear a mask? I can't talk. If I did, they'd recognize me. Should I wear this spawn mask and do small penis humiliation videos? my voice <laughs> if, if I did it, oh my god uh, should i show my feet i'm like sometimes i'm like just him just naked just with his small fucking micro penis out wearing a spawn mask <laughs> just being just getting ridiculed and humiliated i mean sorry, hey. sorry i'm arguing with my wife over next man i need money like what do i, I what can i do to add some extra income but again, at the end of the day, those are just ridiculous thoughts. Um, well, how much African tab? Because I feel like they do. They all, they always do that. They say you're a little bit African. I would, I would use whatever little fame I it's had. Like, what does that even money. mean? Like, who did the porn? Well, oh my, my friend Screech or Dustin. Maybe oh, Egyptian yeah, yeah. dude. I remember that? Oh my God. Maybe you got some kang. Uh, I, 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 I hold no judgment against those people that do do OnlyFans. Like, hey, if you're like so, you're confident and like. You know, you got yeah, you I don't know, think we have any African DNA, dude. I have a good friend. Like, it's the box like, saga. Be okay. Uh, Korea. Like, came from the art. Does, does, does she make enough to yeah. like pay her bills and have a decent lifestyle? Yeah, she has a good lifestyle. She just oh. got a new car, new Aston Martin, and like you know, Aston she, Martin. Yeah, she lives like on. She lives I can't in, even get a Hyundai. She lives on the on like the beach. Michael, you can't get anything. You make like four hundred dollars a month. Intelligent, funny. Um, Make woman. is and, given. Like, that's just she. Like, <laughs> I, I can do this. I'm gonna do it. Like go for it. Like I. I mean, I, I, I bought one of his. Oh shirt. no, I guess. I the, yeah, I guess he does get, get a little bit of money. Like, no, he, he does. Like, he he gets some. He gets some, he gets some scratch. He gets. Yeah, he's, like, people throw him some scraps. This done or whatever. Like I can. I would never have the confidence to do anything like that. Like I don't know. I just couldn't. I mean, but like yeah. Well, I'm a little bit Somali. You know. I'll, I'll contact you late at night and I'll see what you're into. I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's what yeah, they're going to be singing in 10 years in this decision. country. Um, yeah, I don't have no judgment with them, with them as well. Maybe I kind of envy them because they're able to make money and have that much confidence. But I don't like all my body parts and uh, I'm not, I have insecurities way too many. What, to what body part in particular? Use right. Whatever little bit of fame or popularity with my body parts to make any money because like that'll be a short career. Like no pun intended. <laughs> um, that'll be a short career. Uh, but good, cool. We got some good questions. Um, all right, let me see if I got any more. I know you were going to ask about but the, what the lime, the lime slayer thing was. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Explain that, and then we'll get into the next question. What is a oh. lime slayer? All right, so is that the, the, the material lime? No, 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 no. So, lime disease, you know, lime disease. I, dude, I think I've had it because, like, I got issues, man. I get I lose energy, and I always thought that maybe I got a tick or something in my head. Bagels or bagel disease. bites. So that's how I started my YouTube channel. Uh, uh, initially, bagel bites. Because uh, I had Lyme disease. I went undiagnosed. Uh, like, yeah, I was going to the doctors and they were like, oh, oh my God. I literally felt like No, wait, what am I saying? I'm under the influence of you. I'd much rather have a bagel than bagel bites. Yeah, are they mini uh, Edison uh, Thomas's or whatever? Uh, Edison, whatever. I'll tell you, man, there's this, there's this breakfast place nearby. That, there's this breakfast place nearby that makes the best bagel sandwiches. I'm going to be right back because I have clementines in the fridge. That's what I, I got a whole, yeah, I got a I'm bunch like, of clothes. Yeah, there's so like kitchen, dude. Person. I'm a happy person, usually. Something's wrong with me. I had to, like, really push to have extensive um, testing done. And they were like, oh, you have, yeah, you have Lyme disease. And then I had another infection from the tip, the, you know, like the whole. The yeah, I was going to say, how do you get Lyme disease? Doesn't it start with an animal or a bug and then it goes into your system? Or you're talking about animals, Lyme disease yeah, now? Insects, ticks, and they usually get onto their, to deer. And the deer um, have, like, the disease and they have, the, you know, they suck the blood from. From the deer and then they B L O D. Sorry, B L O D. Then they get on you, they bite you, and then they give it to you. So that's what happened to me. I had that and plus another infection from Stingbad, did you say that you confirm that they can't say blood? I don't believe that. 
Hey, Mrs. Buttersworth boobs. You know, I was thinking about you earlier. I said, you know, we haven't seen Mrs. Butterworth, Buttersworth boobs in here for a long time. Good to see you. I'm a little bit Somali. I can't. I'm a little Mexican. Our friend had uh, Lyme disease. Yeah, I've been around people that have had Lyme disease. Remember Doug had it? Oh, sorry, he you're Doug. <laughs> he got so messed up, dude, from different shit. I can't believe it, man. Yeah. Like, just all the unfortunate things that happened. You know what I mean? Yeah. Got Lyme. I don't remember him getting Lyme disease. But like, yeah, of course, yeah, he got Lyme disease. Of course he did. Um, yeah, I was around a kid that got it one time. Because the doctor's... But that this was 15 and then uh yeah prophets doug i made a mistake there um, they yeah. were like, and his name is doug was, by the way i was lucky that, yeah a kid um, that i was in uh um that was not too far a me. class in college with um we, wanted, we, we, wanted, we were really like in the woods because it was like a the unit where we were learning about like oh you don't need like she doesn't you know they don't need that kind of treatment and he was basically like check your asshole when you get home because i got lyme disease because a tick like crawled into my asshole or something like that what the fuck i was so like scared annoyed yeah freaked out yeah it's horrified horrified it was like damn dude why would you just tell the whole class that you know what i'm also like like mortified that this dude just told me that you know what i mean it was just like what what was he doing for the tick to get up his ass was he really like, how yeah, do I don't know. Like, I whenever don't know I get tick, I, I always just find them on my legs or my I, a well, couple times my arm. Where I had, I found one on my ball sack one time. Oh my so god! Bad. How did that? Yeah, dude. Which I don't know. I I was like, playing airsoft in shorts. One of my eyes droops and my mouth droops. Well, I've never played air. Doug got short. syphilis yeah. from Patty. Yeah. Read about Lyme disease. Sorry, Doug. Yeah. Oh, it's okay, Patty. <laughs> but I'm afraid of doctors. Like, he's just he's just <laughs> rotting away. The medical establishment. He doesn't oh, care. I'm sorry. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. at least he got to like hit Patty Mayonnaise. Um, yeah, and he's such a simp anyway. Oh, it, it's okay. I don't want to be an ableist, Patty. But for older people, Mr. Mr. Dink like comes up with like some new like things. Like, automatically, when they're like, like the I got a new cure for syphilis, Douglas. Start to put him in a thing called the DEATH program. It just kills him faster. Because the insurance. The, the I don't know. We get a lot of fucking uh, syphilis is fucking scary, man. Like that shit used to fucking yeah. just wreck people back in the day. I mean, I guess it wrecks people now too. He had a good yeah. Let's start giving him these type of. Well, like we have doctors who can go to and get checked for it. So like you're not gonna oh, go gonna 20 years without knowing. You know what I mean? But that treatment. I feel like a lot well, of times that's how wrecked people that's how you know like people in the past like when you see like any like notable person who died of like syphilis you're like oh so they were just sick they were just a sick fuck they got we don't we don't, we don't, know, we don't know that part about them but you can basically deduce that from like just knowing that they died of syphilis because they would have been have to be like yeah you know they live off the machine. just the most putrid box around their stomach that's called that shit protocol. I'm just saying, if any of your parents have gotten into it and that kind of happened, box. you're going to understand why. Um, but yeah, I'm afraid of the medical industry as a whole, and it's not helping me or doing me any good, and I refuse to get on pharmaceuticals for any... You should be afraid of the fucking the calories you consume, Michael. You should be afraid of what your own body has become. Yeah. Possible, possible diagnosis, because if I've lived this oh. long, only being... 40% crazy. Oh, that is true, Global. Global is the point. They chopped his pee off. Basically. They did fuck his dick up. I guess I'd be pretty skeptical. I mean, I, I hate the pharmaceutical industry, too. So I guess, you know, whatever. But uh. I'm going to continue to be this 40% crazy. I do not want to add another crazy by pharmaceutical medicines and get addicted. She is so tolerant. Anything else, but it's a crazy world. But thank you for telling me about Lyme disease. Yeah, I mean, but... <laughs> they're still talking about it. Yeah, it's fucked up. Anyways, thanks for talking to me about Lyme disease. Appreciate it. Yeah, thank you for the head job. Again, how do how do they typically, uh, how do they typically <laughs> diagnose a Lyme disease? Like, you know, <laughs> how do they know that's what it is? Did they study the Lyme? Again, I'm just asking a, a simple question. Uh, they do um, a B L O. You get bullseyes on your hands. Oh, 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 little bullseyes. Yeah. They, like, you know, you go in, you do, so they take, you know, little labs and stuff like that. And then they can they literally see it in there. Like, I saw the uh, <laughs> readout that they gave me. 
with all the information. I've probably had three tick um, bites. So that's like how, how I found out. But I, mean, I know what you mean about being on like medication. You're like, I don't want to do any of that stuff. I had one I on my balls. Way too, I've only gotten... I got the There's been like a couple times where I've stopped a tick from I had one, from uh, from he was like getting in me and I like oh I don't think he bit my balls he didn't bite my balls no because listen it didn't like nothing happened at the site of the bite whereas I got bit by a tick right below my belly button and it like swelled up to the point where I went to the hospital the next day Shit. and I was like dude what the fuck and they're like no you got that thing you're like it's just inflamed from the bite. But you're good. And, I was. and then I I had a. Yeah, I mean, trust me, I'm just I don't know so if I to go down it, that it road bit me in my family last have year. Addictive personality. But I had one on me. And the only somewhere. addiction, well, people call food an addiction, so I definitely have that. But I Yank think in my old age, off. and I don't I don't know if I'm coming out on here, but I might be addicted to porn recently. I've been watching a little bit too much of it lately. Like it, oh. it seems to be every night now. So it's like uh, I'm so glad we decided to watch this. Yeah, can you roll that back really quick? Look at the face so he's every, making with like. Can you roll that at, back? Just so, she is just, just so everyone stone can cool. Hear that. Something's yeah. going on a little bit too much. And I'm, well, people call food an addiction, so I definitely have that. But I think in my old age. I, I'm going to look at her as just let's read yeah, her. Yeah, we face. just saw Mikey. Let's see her when she said that. I don't, I don't know if I'm coming out on here, but I might be addicted to porn recently. I've been watching a little bit too much of it lately. Like, it, it seems to be every night now. So it's like. <laughs> Nice. The 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 Coomer Coomer Ray Bauer, mm. Michael Ray Coomer. Coomer, that's all, that's all I got. Fuck, man. Something's going on with me. Am I at a midlife crisis? But uh, <laughs> no, I think that's normal. I think it's normal, especially like no, you're uh, addicted to porn. Yeah, yeah. I mean, well, porn addiction is normal nowadays. So. <laughs> um. He watches probably but he more so care. than any other drug. Like in a relationship. Yeah, no, like I don't even know what dating is. If you mean flirting with every single woman on the internet, I do that constantly. <laughs> oh. Friend, friend, are you still here? Friend, why isn't friend? Friend should be having a field day with this. Maybe he fell asleep. He's missed the past two Bauer videos. And these are like perfect uh, for him. Yeah. DoomTube, do you have DoomTube? Do you have Hell Divers? I'll buy it tomorrow if you have it. I'll play with you. Going out or hanging out or whatever. You have it. Is. Friend is yeah, here. That, you know, that situation was different. You had somebody. Yes. Did you hear that, it. friend? Playing with Jerry. All right. I will get it tomorrow. Apply. <laughs> I know. You wouldn't be watching. I wasn't going to get it if uh, nobody else was going to play it. But if people play it, I'll get it. You know, in my life, picking me up or going You're putting out together a team. Whatever the situation is. Yeah. So if that you know if that situation was different, you had somebody that you see all the time. You wouldn't be watching it as much, I guarantee, you know? You it's a third-person shooter. <laughs> I know you're in Boston, but hey, I need to move. I need to get out of California. Are you oh, she's in Boston, uh, dude. Ooh, Angeles. maybe I should pay her a visit. Yes, I am. I don't want to reveal any secrets, but I'm in Hollywood, the area. You, like, do you, you don't like it there? He's in North Hollywood, if it's going off. Uh, you aren't following. Oh, friend, you've been, missing, you've been missing some nuggets, dude. He just said that he was a porn addict. The San Fernando Valley. No, it's just I'm just tired of California. It's just um, prices are too high, mm -hmm. and to be an artist or basically a person with no real job, that people like to call it. You know, even though in my opinion, YouTube, Google, it's all a real job. But whatever, um, you just can't afford anything, and the opportunities are less. And then, especially around the time of the mandates, when they were forcing people to, dude. To be honest, I'd rather live in fucking. I think I'd rather live in L.A. Or at least Southern California at the at, than Boston. I have to be completely honest. Yeah, Boston's like such so bad. It's it's just Boston has like I don't know. I guess I can't say because I've never been to. Dude, I got LA, a flat tire. In but I got a flat tire downtown Boston, Haymarket Square. Oh. I want to fucking kill myself. If I had had a gun on me, I probably would have blown my brains out right then and there in front of everybody. <laughs> That's... In front of fucking everybody. Dude. Because the stress from that situation, I have never been put under that amount of stress, w and I've had bullets go near my head. When was when I've was never... that? Uh, 2010. Okay, so that was, you were or like... no, 2012. 2012 you were, you were with people though, right? I was with my girlfriend. Oh, that's it? Oh my god, yeah. 
Dude, yeah, driving in Boston fucking sucks. I can't I've imagine never getting been more, a... I've never been more stressed out in my life. <laughs> Did you have a spare? No, it was her fucking car. Oh, it was, yeah. So what'd you do? You just had to get it towed? Yeah. Yeah, that sucks. You guys look up a Hay- Haymarket Square in Boston. Look it up. Driving in Boston has the most like congested, like fucked up driving, like fucked up roads. You can't just stop or to work in the entertainment industry. Like, you just can't. They were literally yeah. bringing down what I call like the concrete. like people on the street. People on the street were just I'm like, like, you can't like, stop like, here. You, you can't. And I'm like, we have a flat charge. tire, and they, they're just kept saying you can't stop. A b o r t i o n s. This homeless guy <laughs> just started knocking on the window saying we had a flat tire. It was crazy. I have to do that. With an experimental drug. Just ride on the rim. Or I lose yeah. my job. Yeah. Hmm. It was just like, fuck it, just keep yeah. driving. I didn't, agree so, I, didn't, I didn't agree with that. Yeah, so, again, uh, that's the issue I have. Um, and it's just, California is a democratic society. Not that I'm really political, but I finally understand the difference. Michael, you are political. That's all you fucking rant the about. Between left and right. I never knew that growing up. And now I kind of know the difference between Democrat and Republicans. But just to end this talk, I don't like talking politics. Kind of know the difference. He's 50 years old. I Growing up, I guess I was a Democrat. Like, you know, preaching diversity, this and that. But as I got older, I started realizing, like, why are we helping everybody else when everything is faltering in our own community? Oh, yeah. Everything is faltering in our own Oh, yeah. Community. It would have been worse in Chicago. Community. This had tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of people. She's, uh, yeah, Boston's very dense, very densely populated. Yeah, it, it's not that so- was the other thing, too. It, there was, like, it was at an area where there's tons of people crossing. You know what I mean? Because it's like oh, a yeah. square. And yeah. there's just, like, and th- there was just... Yeah. Oh my God. I, I no. I feel no, I dude. Know. I get you. Boston. Dri- I don't even know. But last time I do. last time I was in Boston, I wasn't even like driving. My friend, my friend was either. driving, and I felt like so anxious. I hate driving in Boston. Boston just sucks. Boston because sucks for many darting, reasons. And then, people are darting across the street in front mm-hmm. of you. And, and there, walking, there's like, there's Asian there's Asians everywhere because Boston's like half Asian now from like all like the students that just come there. <laughs> Yeah. Anyways, this woman's like so uncomfortable. Yeah, got that. And then, but Democrats of 20, 30 years ago, Ugh. it's been reversed. The Republicans, you know, used to be all about, you know, like religious and all that. I thought, I think Boston markets like 30 years ago. Those are Boston pretty much like all views. gone now, aren't they? And the right wing views. Boston now, market had the, had the most advert, uh, had the most really, really um, interesting. The world is appetizing like, go back commercials I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> no, I would never go there. So to Divine. So much I know Dorchester yeah. is like the worst. Um, oh, I'm pretty I sure Dorchester is the range. worst You're place in Massachusetts. Pretty much. Mm-hmm. Could be wrong. Um. No, I, mean, I am wrong. It's Chicopee. Chicopee is the worst place in Massachusetts, child? but or a ninety not for crime, just for and the border way I region. base it, I base it off of between the years of when you start to really understand the world, and I base it off of the years like seven through like sixteen, like mm-hmm. that's the time frame where content and everything you're soaking it up. Did you go to the seven and sixteen? Uh, the witch so did that tour for you tab? in the nineties, or the I used witch. I used to live in Salem, Salem for a little bit. I'm an 80s yeah, our mom so took us to that when we were I remember kids. it all. I can show and then, yeah, you lived down there for a minute. Because I was yeah, for like a couple months. So I was like 10 years Worked at Target. Five. So the years of like cool. 83 to like... Yeah, dude, that was so funny. Like, I worked at Target. Like, I, w- I was doing like the morning shift, working with all the Puerto Ricans where like the trucks come in and you just like yeah, unload nice. them and sort them and like stock start stocking shelves and stuff. And then they yep. just like, against my will, put me in electronics <laughs> Nice. And like I was there for like two days and I remember like this my fucking like manager boss, he's like he's like, Man, you gotta start working faster. I'm like, this is my first day here. <laughs> like you just put me in here for, you put me in here against my will. And then I just no I just no called no showed. I just quit. <laughs> I, just, yeah. I just like, yeah, fuck this. Andy was like, oh, the movies, the music, the pop culture. And then I ended up in Florida yeah, I, like, I a few days easy. later. I, like, I was like, you know, I was a young kid in the 80s. But I remember all that 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 stuff, you know, like growing up with the movies and the toys and things like that. Um, and then the 90s was when I was, you know, more, when I was older. And then Un- like, yeah, unload and sort the Puerto Ricans. And, you know, you were really into yeah, the newly, the Puerto Ricans came in. I like the 80s and I, 
and I like the 90s. And like even like the 90s. I've like, never like, done bath salts. I think I have once I up know. here. And I feel bad for like my, um, my kid now. Because I've done research like, chemicals oh, tab that I didn't oh, even know what they were. Right. Well, yeah, I guess. Oh, he's, he's a young one. I, I, I don't know if I've done R-cathinone or M-cathinone. Who knows? Trust me, I try so Because that's all bath salts is, is our cathinone or whatever. He's really particular. Like, he, he watches that MCAT. garbage that I can't see. Was that one I time know. Addison and I, he got something, I don't know what it was. And we we just, like, we we just did, like, a bunch of it. Like, uh, we did some of it, and we're like, we're like, oh, I don't, it was just, it was just me and him. We're like, Dude, that oh. was, like, so much of, like, that experience. We're, we're like, we're that like. Stuff. I don't know what it was. We did a bunch of yeah, it. Yeah, but we were like, we were like, oh, I don't feel anything. He's like, I don't feel anything either. He's like, this is this sucks. And then like, we did a little bit more, and I got so sick. I like bolted. Oh. I, I, we we like went. We were at his house, and then we were like downstairs, and like his, I, you, I don't know if you ever went to his old house on Court Street, but like I like bolted Only to in his the downstairs. Yeah, I like bolted in his downstairs bathroom, and I just was. I, I'm surprised. I was like, I could die, you know. I was just like yeah. throwing up so hard, and like it, it was just, and then he, and then, and then, and then, he, and then he got really, and then he started throwing up. It was really bad. It was really bad. But I'm like, let's watch Fraggle Rock, and he's like, I don't want. I know. <laughs> Hell yeah! But I actually did end up getting no Faust here to shit on Fraggle Rock. Rock. He's not a movies person, really. So Pepper Jack movies. lives all Fraggle Rock. Cathodones in general. Last night I got to watch. Yeah, it's now. they're all different cathodones, oh, friendo. That's how they kept bringing them back in. Like, um, like our space stuff. Our friend stuff. shot up and MCAT. Like, um, That's really wild. Like the planets and like, Tony did. So I was like, oh, it's kind of like outer space. Of course, he's a you know, psycho. Or whatever he might like it. So psycho. He did, he did watch it. I was so that was before we were doing. At, we were doing <laughs> bath salts before it was called bath salts. Do you realize that? Uh, boring stream. Michael Ray Bauer is a kindred spirit with you, dude. He's saying space is fake. Space is fake. Nobody's been out there. There's no moon. What? Uh, she, she's just laughing. She's just laughing. There's like, no okay. moon? All right. All right. I'll, 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 I'll like... Look, we can say the there's argument. a fir- there's you could say there's a firmament or something. I don't yeah, know. And you but can let's argue not, about let's... the landing of the moon, but you can't say it's not there. You can say... You can argue back and forth about if we went. That's fine. Have that argument. But, like, it's a valid the one moon is... The moon is there. Yeah, come on. The moon is there. Yeah, to realize, we can you know, see it. It's not a hologram. It affects the tide. Well, is 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 the sun fake too, Michael? You're gonna say the sun's fake? The, you know what I mean? But they need that because <laughs> I <was the> <laughs> he sparks like a retard. I was the biggest. I wanted to be I an astronaut. If I, I, if I did, yeah. If I did bath salts, it was like one time, time and it wasn't knowing they were bath salts. But then the It was just. Did research you, chemicals. Did you kick them all over, Tab? <laughs> just like <laughs> spurring it out at a cemetery, oh, just like yeah. knocking down two hundred year old uh, Freemason uh, headstones. <laughs> Tab, that used to be something me and my girlfriend liked to do. We would walk through the cemetery and we would um, make we would look for all the Freemason ones, and then look for the ups- upside down stars. Those are the females that were in the order of the Eastern star. And then look for the o- IOOF, the International Order of Odd Fellows. You can look at it. You can find them all. Wasn't and then your you grandfather that, in the in that? Yeah, but he joined that when he was like 90 years old, and it was for like two years until he died. What was, he, was, do- what was he doing during those two years? Yeah, yeah. Do you remember yeah, right? that? Yeah. Well, apparently they're all alive. They're all still alive. I haven't heard any of that. Isn't that when? Isn't that when he got that like much younger girlfriend? No, he got that much younger girlfriend when he was. <laughs> uh, like, how old? Let me think. Prophet's grandfather was in like World War II. He was like ninety years <laughs> yeah. old, and he had like a. Wasn't she like like sixty? Okay, no. <laughs> like, he died. He died when he was ninety-two because I was twenty-two. Yeah, and because he was seventy years older than me. Um. Yeah, he was dating a girl, a, a girl. woman <laughs> yeah. that was that was thirty six years younger than he was when he died. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. So yeah, so yeah. she was in her fifties. She was fifty six. Wow, when he died. <laughs> odd, odd fellow, indeed. 
again, I not because you don't look into it, you don't yeah. research. And it, like, listen, listen. That, when my grandmother I'm died, I'd never, I'd never seen my grandfather or cry or show really any emotion at all. Yeah, so, no, I, I remember at her funeral that was really weird. And, because his grandfather was that, very stoic and just like quiet. And like I thought that he would never be happy again. And he didn't he told my dad straight up after my grandmother died, he said that uh he gave himself like one or two years. He he's like, I, I don't have any will to live anymore. Like, and then he met that woman and he was like, I want to live as long as possible. And then he started doing crazy shit, like going up in hot air balloons and doing all this other wild shit. He <laughs> swam he swam up at our uh, up at the lake for the first time in like thirty years with this woman. All this crazy shit. That's so funny. Um, yeah, no, I remember. I distinctly remember him crying at uh, your grandmother's funeral, and I was like, "That's." I was like, "That's crazy." I'd never seen. I'd never seen yeah, I, I'd never seen him like like that before. He was always just quiet and very like meek, you know. Yeah, that, then, was, that was weird. And then when everybody got questioned, they were twin brothers. Two of them had twin brothers. Then they found they found them both. And then, oh, they were triplets. They were triplets now. Okay. And there's video. My on wife is TV convinced TV she has twins. And, and all that other stuff. It's just really fascinating. Maybe. Um, and then r- right around that same year. You could name uh, them silly you names. The Challenger? Well, I hope it's. I hope they're not <laughs> twins because we're doing a birthing center, and like, I guess they can't do twins at a birthing center. I don't know if that's like a state law or something, or it's just like these people's policy. But like, so we'd have to do a home birth or fucking go to the hospital, which she doesn't want to do, and I don't really want to do either. So hopefully, it's not twins. I just remember, I know, like, I know about it just from, like... It'd be kind of cool to have twins, but, like... At the moment that, like, it happened. Okay, because yeah, they that mandated would be a lot. everything. No, no, no congrats. I, I, don't, <laughs> I don't know if they, they are twins. It. Think about it. <laughs> Why? They didn't do it. I hope, I hope it's not twins. But they mandated just, for, just for that reason alone. I'm paying for this you fucking... You name them, like, Nick and Nick, in the dude. TV or whatever. Nick and Nick. They mandated it yeah. because it had the first teacher going to the moon oh thank I mean, you not going to the moon going into space right. the first so-called teacher yeah it is a well, baby yeah it's a baby it's a baby because <laughs> every nasa astronaut is a teacher they teach the astronaut skills to everybody and they go to classes they're a teacher so it was a lie but why did they mandate that for every child in america to watch That's because crazy. well yeah at 37 years old it's good to knock out two with one they one swing you know fear and then and you can just the be kids. done. You don't need anyone. Yeah. Really Ch- Chuck, mean, Chuck and Sneed. An astronaut can give you <laughs> there you go. If I have two boys, and Chuck and Sneed. Yeah. At that moment, wanted you to could be name astronaut. one Chuck. They wanted to go to space camp. It would always just so be like an inside joke. In a mass way, they're afraid. I don't want to go to space camp anymore. I, you know. And then I don't think the, space the camp exists anymore. Much later, called Space Camp, where a kid accidentally... No, nah, not in this, not with this mutt, mutt generation. I don't want to go to yeah, space. Yeah, there's no space camp, Mikey, and there's no conspiracy to cancel it. Goes into space. It's just the mutts. With a robot. Have you ever watched that movie? All no. the mutts running Your around. son will love it, so rec- I recommend it. Again, he's into space. Go watch that movie. Um, it's not a sh- I love, uh, dude, Michael Ray Bauer is the best. I love how he just filibusters. Like, it's just, she has not, she's but she... They kind of got the interview done in like the first twenty minutes, and now the rest of this has just been him ranting. Scary as the real life. <laughs> yeah, I'm ranting about happen. space camp. Yeah, it fucking rules. With a robot from NASA, and they have to figure out a way to not die in yes, space. The Lord humongous. But the ship could have blown up. The warrior of the wasteland. So it's just the weird. Ayatollah of rock and roll. The movie was made years earlier, and it's just. Yeah, I kind of look at the world a little differently, but let's move on. Uh, oh. But yeah, please watch that movie. You'll, your son will enjoy it. I think he'll have a good time because it's one of my favorites, even to this day. Whether I, 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 I was, was going to say, have you ever um, heard of this movie, Space, Space Camp? Camp. The walk, I, I have heard the ones about walking on the, us going to the moon was like fake and like it was just a backdrop and all that stuff. That that I have I've heard heard about um, before. That's like oh, that never happened. Who fucking you know, hasn't. And stuff like that. Right. Um, it's like the most it's like basic, basic like, normie <laughs> conspiracy <laughs> theory. Stuff. Yeah, he said, oh, we never went there to a little child. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And stuff like that. And then when they confront him and they say, why do you continue lying that we went to the moon? Then he punches them and beats them up. Well, if it wasn't a lie, you wouldn't be getting mad. If you know without conviction we went to the moon, why would you get upset that the conspiracy theorist or whoever they call us say that? Why? If you know within a shadow of a doubt in your heart, it's because you know we're right. 
and you have been paid to not tell anybody. But he releases it, like you said, in some videos. A little girl asked him or something about the movie. Imagine if he were this passionate about making his life We've better. Been there, and then you're like, yeah, oh. right? <laughs> you know what I mean? Maybe yeah. direct, maybe direct some of this energy like, into you know, getting out of the box. You already do. But, uh, Dude, I direct it into like an acting role. Have, put some passion into a role. Yeah. Or like I've thought from time to time how easy it must be to be an actor right now. Some days, oh, like, yeah, sure. how hard can it honestly be sometimes for about an hour and a half or whatever to put yourself into a character? It's pretty interesting. Like seriously, or like a sure, mental maybe, state. Maybe that'll get you on, I don't know. You on I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> I guess for like I some people that are just stupid, we'll they just can't. I'll do brainwash it, you. You can brainwash me. It really can't be that hard. Being a line. Oh, line. It's like, but like, there's other obstacles to get around, like going up on stage, remembering line, all this and that. Like, how hard oh, can yeah, it possibly be yeah. to get later. minor yeah. bit roles <laughs> I put, I put it all as an actor? Even like that. That's what I mean. Not like leading roles. Like for Mike, how hard can it fucking well, be? Well, Mike's got some disabilities. He's fat. He has a lisp. Like, believe it but or not. But he's always gonna... been that. No, I know. But that's always been. Yeah, I mean, he's always got. And like, like I mean, he had consistent work. I mean, it's been almost a decade since he's really worked. But Yeah. Yeah. You know. But if he's gotten roles before... Now, let's move on to the topic of this actual show. Uh, <laughs> or halfway through. Do you believe... And then I'm going to let you ask me some questions in a minute. Do you believe in aliens, since we're talking about space? No. <laughs> Base. Nice. Wow. Like, but the thing is, like, I believe that there could be maybe something out there on other like planets or whatever that's just like organisms, but not like actual... Oh, it's like that whole fucking... <laughs> So like, like, many paradoxes right. around it. Michael's such a fucking idiot. I'm not even. It's not even the fact that like I'm discouraged. Like, what are you saying? Like, like listen to what he just said. Green he's just guy. dumb. So cute. You believe there's actual planets? <laughs> So like not like, you know, not yeah, no, like he's just green. dumb, dude. Like he's just <laughs> stupid. It's like, not he's like just uh, dumb. You know, like you know, <laughs> like because it's like he probably believes in aliens, right? So where do they come from? Like, I mean, I guess they can't. I, I'm uh, like, fine. They can't. Like, I'm open to the possibility that they could be coming from another dimension. So maybe he's going that route. But like, come on, dude. No planets. Like, what does he fucking think is happening? I like your father. I like him. Or inner Earth, dude. That's true too. I'm all about that. Masons have a bad connotation nowadays because they're they're part of the Illuminati. No, not those Masons. I was talking about like a Mason. I know you're talking about bricklayer. <laughs> yeah, mutt pussy so, originates like, from the lab. Like, <laughs> Illumin like, Illuminati is like a, a black person yeah, conspiracy yeah, theory. Like that's so. Like, so I, yeah, I think one so of the funniest vague. things I've heard is like Illuminati. So Illuminati vague. is just the is just the Jews for black people. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah, but for me, so I, true. Don't believe, I don't believe in aliens. I don't know, but but you know what the funny thing is? I used to watch. Um, what the heck was the name of that show? The show that was like uh, shut up, Frendo. Is what okay. Unsolved Mysteries, and they used to have some. Frendo, it's such like, a broad you know, thing. Like alien like stuff would be on that. That stuff terrified me. It's such a broad uh, thing, and go, like it's not like, like, like people have like use it for aliens, the wrong thing. So. Oh yeah, I bet Miami's got crazy yeah, mutt pussy. Oh, probably everywhere I mean, on every street corner. It's probably for sale there too on every so corner. Oh yeah. Have you seen? Would be alien have you them. seen how like out in San Francisco, um, there's entire districts where they're selling Asian pussy? No. <laughs> yeah. You can just buy Chinese prostitutes on the street in like San Francisco, and nobody's shutting it down. So it's good to know that you don't. There's just yellow alien, pussy God. all over so for you to buy. Or something different? It's not the massages to have. They're walking the street. Yeah, but Frendo, you know that's not what he's like is talking about. No, yeah, Frendo, he couldn't describe what he's talking about. God, it's a thing, you know. It's just, it's like so hard when you put on the. I know the Illuminati was it was a group. I know it existed. I know about Adam Weishaupt. I know about that shit. But Mike doesn't. That's the question they need to be asking now. Mike doesn't. On everybody's mind is, what is a woman? Oh my god! <laughs> With today's gender studies and everything, like, but yeah. So I guess can I ask you? Do you have a dick? It's interesting, you know. Like, once you start opening your yourself up to questions, that's how our society will get bigger and better. 
and we all become more intelligent and more knowledgeable. Oh, what is it called? I can't questions. remember what it's called. So in my opinion, people a boko, are still like what is there was God. something is that the Bible like actually real Bosch and his leaks. He was like typing in that he wanted many years ago. Oh, and one of his like, one of his fetishes. It's like it's like a boko something or other, but it's like whatever it is because PPP is like what the fuck is a boko horse or something like that, and somebody and he just goes apparently it's a chick with a dick, and it's like so there's just in Japanese terms. In the I hate all those Bible. Japanese well, fucking terms that these fucking we weirdo found use. in a cave in Iran. Oh, yeah. And this this one talks about women can be men and men can be women. Oh, let's preach that new religion to the world. So I have questions about religion. And I didn't have these questions growing up, but I believe religion, whichever way you believe, if it helps you out in your daily life and it makes you more of a sane person toward love, so be it. Go to church, do what you gotta do. Um but it's just we got to keep asking questions. It almost and looks like that picture behind Mike again, is just like an explosion. Show, so, you know, it almost it's, looks like he's got the twin towers the behind him, and like one of them's exploding. It's you know what uh, I mean? it's not been hit yet. It's the Goonies, dude. It's the poster. It's, <laughs> a, po it's a poster for the Goonies. <laughs> His like heater vent thing. Yeah, no, it does. It does look like it. It looks like he's got like the towers behind him, and one of them's like on like exploding. This this means something. This means something. We're all aliens and we're all happy. Uh, yeah. Like I, so, so like, like I was saying before, I don't believe in any uh, like set religion. Like I'm not Catholic. I'm not this. I'm not that or whatever. I just like if anybody like ask, if anybody asks me, I'm like yeah, I'm like, yeah, I believe in God. And like I basically ended up. I basically this is why I say I believe in God and I believe in being a good person. And that's basically just be a heckin' good person. A good person that's there for people. That's you know understanding, but also like caring and giving. Um, has good morals. That's the Italian in you. Yeah, that's just who I like base myself self on being. You know what I mean? Like that type of a person. Um, and I think you know, that's what it was growing up. You know, you believe in God. It's like, oh, you have to just a typical person. normal white. You know, you know, God's gonna see that you're being bad and you know disobedient or whatever. Um, you can't do those things. It's and like a guidebook. It feels it's like your own the Bible until a minority comes and disrupts fucking everything. And it's also a guidebook. You know, to be a better human or a better alien, whichever way you look at it. But, you know, when it becomes a set of rules and dictatorship, whether it be in the church or out of the church, it just gets a little bit scary. Like, so I believe in God. I just don't know if his name was Jesus, Allah, or whatever these other, you know. Or Yahweh. Him. And I don't know or if he's a spiritual being, an energy being. <laughs> Yacoub. I could, I could see so Mikey having so like a fucking uh, and my, uh, uh, but, uh, and black Israelite. Uh, and have uh, an open heart. And love He's like, did you know that Jews are actually blacks Michael or whatever, Eichenden. whatever that is. I don't know what. It is. No, that's whatever. yeah, that's God. I believe in. Yeah, so they're they're, they're from. God, they're like the lost tribes. I am a god. Yeah, or something. Yeah, whatever that fucking shit is. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Really that's like right. Bible stories, like all stories in there. I'm like, <laughs> like what? <laughs> like so, the stuff I read, I'm just like, yeah, I don't, I don't believe like half the stuff that like happened in there. It's like you said, you're like, you know, I just try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boring stream. Um, and go like in a path that's like you know more to good. And in the light, and that's what I basically try to do. And I, and I, but I don't preach to everybody. I must, you know, if somebody asks me, I give my opinion. But like other than that, like I don't, I, I, I'm like welcoming to every anybody as long as you're a good person and you don't but mean me any any harm. Like, I don't this what, what is this a good world, person? Again, in my opinion, it needs God again. Just the image, being a, a God fearing man or woman, you need that image and you need God in everybody's lives. You know, for the guidebook. But again, nowadays everything is again uh, his whether it be satanic, gothic, this, that, imagery, you know, only fans, it's okay. slabs, it's so gross. slabs. Everything yeah. is taking everybody away from some pretty good guides to make you a better human being. So God and the religion is being denounced at every facet. And that's why I still think, whether I believe in it one hundred percent, I believe religion and the belief in God is needed nowadays because in my opinion, everything's becoming demonic, satanic, and whatever, and it kind of scares me. Uh, but let's move on. That is a very sensitive topic. I mean, that's for a pretty lot valid. Of, a lot I mean, of my everything guests. is getting pretty. Um, there's just not even. Uh, yeah, no. Uh, yeah, all out in the fucking open. Just a couple of minutes. To the uh, point where even Mikey's questions. seeing it. Let's bring it back yeah. to Everyone's fun seeing it. It's not a Since coincidence. You love pop culture, and like you're warming my heart with all the references. Like literally. I'm thinking and about then they're like running cover on, on Twitter, you know what I mean? Being like, Ice Spice wasn't throwing movie, devil signs and wearing an upside down cross, everyone. Of jump. course not. Okay, so you know what I mean? Running thing. all that shit. Right, Groidle. Like Taylor Swift at her fucking concert, dressed like a fucking Freemason, standing on the black cube. You know what I mean? 
I Jesus Christ. I, she was I, she was dressed like she was a, the Freemason that. initiate that's not my, my with her one thing. pant leg up and everything. And then fucking on top of the black cube, I Doom sent me the picture. Ice Spice is the grossest. Ice, Ice Spice is legitimately retarded. Yeah. Like she had. Bar, dude, Red I, Bar's impersonation. Dude, hey. Dude, I'm telling I I think a literal Down Syndrome person probably has a higher IQ than, than Ice yeah. Spice. Yeah. It's got to be sub 100. Easy. It's got to be sub 90. Probably. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And she's I, like, I, I just remember it, it's just so funny. She's uh, like, Taylor Swift's token, token yeah. black. But uh, no, seriously, like if, if, uh, if the picture of her where she doesn't have any makeup on, she legitimately looks like she's Down syndrome. And yeah. she's like carnival. really gross. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. And then, um, so my, and then my favorite movie. Like, I wouldn't want to touch her. With David Bowie. David I wouldn't Bowie. want to touch anything she touched. I fell in love with Jennifer Connelly yes, in yes. that movie while yes. he's doing the. <laughs> what is this? Uh, oh, Mike, you know relax, dude. Jennifer Connelly is like the peak yes, 80s yeah. girl, but come while on, settle. And he's yeah. walking down the stairs that go up ways and down ways. I don't remember it completely, but more, that movie fascinated me. Yeah, you're right. Oh, that's true, too. Miss Bothersworth boobs. The pant leg rolled up is a drug dealer thing, also. Yeah, no, I you know it used to, but right, the, the Freemason thing the goes back somehow? way yeah, before the drug dealers. Have to come over, come visit and how do you know that they did, the Freemasons aren't expiring yeah, the drug dealer? Um, it's all it's fucking Masonic. Legend with Tom Cruise. Uh, yes. And, uh, yes. What the heck it's all Masonic. Yeah, I think, I think. Everything. No, 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 Brad said it was Tom. Cruise. Their initiations oh, are Masonic in nature too. Yeah, with, with, with probably demon, not all of them, but too. some of them Tim definitely. Perry. Tim Perry was the demon. Mm, that's right. He yeah, was. I don't, I don't, I don't think Masons ever do the thing where they just beat the shit out of each other for. <laughs> no, I, I, I'm not, I said not all of them, but some of them have weird Masonic the shit. And it's I like, remember watching like ga Gangland or whatever, just yeah, being like, not, yeah, that's rough. That's rough. But, but. There's like weird jump in stuff in other, like in the skull and bones. It's not necessarily getting jumped in, but that weird thing where they put you in the coffin. And, and, you, ha and you have to jerk off. <laughs> the, yeah, like the, it's, the, 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 whitest, the whitest, the whitest kids you know sketch where like, like Trevor you rather is do? just like get talking to the kids for 30 seconds uh, or have to beat off in front of a bunch of dudes. Yeah, I'd rather get the shit kicked out of me for 30 seconds, I think. He was like a devil creature with horns. Yeah, I love that's one of my favorite movies too. And I like I like the, the Lord of the Rings movies. I should like mention Legend. Legend's a good movie. I watched that for the first time a little while back. People say that's a bad no. movie. I disagree. Like the, um, Skull and Bones has blacks and women in it. It oh does. God. I brought that up recently, and someone over. someone told no me that I was uh, that that no was a way. psyop in its in itself. Oh wait, no, 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 no. I thought that they did. They have a sister organization that did tap women. I thought that was already no, no, no. But, but it makes sense because colleges, like elite universities, aren't wasps anymore. They're all fucking mutts yeah. in diversity. Yeah. So why wouldn't it be filled with that? You know what I mean? Yeah, Buttersworth, because they have some stuff that's got to be done at that thing. Like the Bible, his Bible's got to be like handed over, and all this other shit. It's got to happen. Do you know? Like, do you have one favorite? It doesn't matter what genre. It's just that movie that you're like, I call it my. Was there a lot of Coke there? Like, not cocaine, like Coca-Cola to have? <laughs> My favorite, or it's always up there. And if it comes on TV, well, we don't have cable anymore. It doesn't work that way. The anymore. craziest like, are the Indian like, funerals. It. If you go to somebody's house or wherever, you got to watch it. I watched uh, Burning Indian someone on a, on a, a funeral. No. <laughs> giving someone the Indian Darth Indian Vader Indian treatment. Like I watched an Indian yeah, funeral on yeah, fucking uh, show awesome. oh, man. We, Twitch we one time. Night, man. Uh, and uh, I'll be the, the guy from Labyrinth and you'll be the general. Well, first of all, the guy, it said that the guy like married his wife when she was 12. He was like 19. Was she underage? And then like everyone was just throwing food into the coffin. Again, wasn't it a sexual type fantasy movie where they were sexualizing everything or something and her being like a, a 15 or 16 year old young woman that was kind of interesting yeah i know right i gotta watch that again man that, that's, i got some homework yeah do. no the yeah. food reception at funerals is <laughs> the, uh, I chuck consider that movie my my awakening my opening you know in that have you ever watched the matrix I have, but I don't really remember a lot of it because it was not, it wasn't really my thing. Do you remember the part at the well, end when Neo like said, went through the metal detectors with all the guns? Matrix really isn't that great. I got to be honest. I mean, it's a, it's, a, it's a good movie, but like I watched it like way. I didn't watch it for Dude, the first time until be, like a few years it ago. It can be condensed to like 
the ending where yeah. he walks through the metal detector. It, I mean, it, it is. It's a good movie, but like, I could see like when it when it came out, it would have been like you know, whoa, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, I remember my dad and all his friends watched it. I, I, like, I get that. Like, it would have been like a big movie when it came out, and it was because I remember. Ev- like, I remember I never watched it when it came out, but I remember so many movies parodying it. You know what I mean? Yeah, a little bit but, more, and you're showing interest or gun interest camera. Movie. If you ever want to go back and watch it, and then the sequels about an awakening suck. And the second one's all right. Have to awaken to the real Matrix world. Reloaded. It was okay. Everything, in, like I said, to conspiracy theorists, the world is fake. Everything is maybe a simulation. Didn't they have a canceled video game chat. Wasn't there some movie, canceled Matrix? Matrix well, there was the Matrix that, online, that, right? It's the one. Yeah, but I thought there was some computer hyped term, the one in the zero, Matrix like he, he game up, that was supposed movie, to come out. He says, "I'm going to show everybody, you know, know, something they've never seen before, which is the real world." Wasn't there a sequel to that it, or something? It's a really fascinating story. The one on PS2. I thought that there was one that never came out, but was like feeding off of his energy. His body em- energy, and he's not even in the real world. He's living in a computer simulation. I've heard Animatrix is good, the like the world. anime one. I've never experienced it before. It's like it's really different, like it's a great movie. Yeah, I'll have to watch it again for sure. Yay, we got a lot of date nights coming, but unfortunately, <laughs> 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 no what? Spots. I ain't got the money. I'll have to watch it again for sure. Yay, we got a lot of date nights coming, but unfortunately, I ain't got the money to go to Boston to go to a movie theater and uh... watch it. Which- so we have to do it like on screens like this, where maybe yeah. you put the movie in the middle or whatever. And we just hang out and, and have a good evening. Uh, 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 uh. I'd be interested in that. I need more people uh, in my life, man. I, I'm a little bit too much lo- of a lonely person. I'm a lonely boy. killing like, me. Yeah. Like Lash Boys? Yes. Yeah, so that like. killed me right you there. Remember you that song, I'm a lonely boy? While I get about them, I ain't got a home. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> that hurt my heart. Ooh. Oh, that's a great movie with Lost Boys. All the vampires. I consider myself a vampire because I stay up all night and I sleep all day. One you of my both, bad things. You and me both on the same way. I just can't. I like I go to bed at like three o'clock, three thirty in the morning. I like the witching hour, man. I like that yeah. late night. Nobody's around. You ain't got to deal with nothing. Mm-hmm. And you just leave me alone, Michael. You don't have to deal with anything anytime, uh, ever, any yeah, hour of the day. All, all I'm thinking about is like, when, how is that any different Labyrinth. from any other they time? They wanted Mick Jagger to play the character Jareth. I'm glad they went with David Bowie. Plus, he wrote and sang the songs. The soundtrack is great. Yeah, David Bowie's an interesting character. Um, he has one. He wrote one song that is in my lore, the Spaceman song. Oh, I, I forgot how it goes. What is he going to say? The space oddity is there's a conspiracy space linked oddity. to space oddity. Well, yeah, Spaceman. I um. So I have that the Labyrinth soundtrack. That soundtrack is an amazing uh, soundtrack because um, he did like basically all the singing on that. And, but as far as like his other music, I never really got it. <laughs> my buddy one time. He's not really my buddy. Do you remember John Korea? Remember that kid? No. I just remember like we were over at his apartment, him just putting on, you know, the uh, dan- magic dance, you know, the song from Labyrinth is like, just i think he like ripped a line of ketamine he's like he reminds me of the babe what babe babe with the power what power? <laughs> <laughs> just like perfectly in sync with it playing his other music i was never a huge fan of his, his other stuff it was just that just album ketamine, and also dude. i think Jesus. we were gonna ask i thought they were gonna not only mick jagger I saw I my ask baby. Him to play the part yeah it is an awful the soundtrack there's a- <laughs> <laughs> come here jennifer <laughs> The goblin Let's touch the silver ball. Look, I love Jim Henson. Uh, you ever watch Captain EO with Michael Jackson? I love David Bowie. You never Creepy. watched Disney's Captain EO? I love Terry Jones. Terry yeah, Jones wrote that movie. Captain. Not really a big fan of Labyrinth. And he talks to Hooter, a little <laughs> elephant drummer. And how old band. was Jennifer Connelly? Like uh, she was like 16, probably. You have not- or 15? No. We got a lot of hangouts. David Bowie's got, got like that hangouts. cod piece on. Because you know? expert, <laughs> yeah. in my opinion, and he's like thrusting in her face. So I would think, like I said, you're open. Well, you know, it was the 80s. And, <laughs> it's it's fucking it. crazy. Like, about Michael that. Jackson in it's this like, movie. Jesus it's hard Christ. to find. This though. is a kid's but movie. It's called kinda. Captain Ego. It's pretty. It was like a ride at Disneyland, like in a theater mm-hmm. where they would pump the air and the she- the seats would shake. It's a really good thing. Really good thing. Then they came out with Honey, I Shrunk the Kids in that Disney theater a few years later. And here's a funny. Hey guys, you're getting an exclusive. There's a very good possibility that we're going to have <laughs> That's an experience tab. reunion with at least three, if not four, of the actors on this channel in the next two or three months. So there's a good possibility for an actual reunion, like a convention on this channel. So what? we got to get that going. Space Oddity is the name of the song. Oh, okay. 
Yep. Are, are you doing any, horror, like any conventions? I know you did a few in the past. You guys for what, uh, the Skate and Shorts um, cast. You guys. Uh, did, you need agents. You need agents. And I'm struggling with some of that stuff right now because um, let me get up the, the last question to, to really talk about. Um, yeah, you need agents. And for a good while, I have health issues and traveling was tough for me. And But you need a good agent that's really going to work for you and, and get you the plane tickets. You know, the production company that puts on the conventions, unless you're local and unless you're a huge star, they have to pay for your plane travel, your hotel, your this and that. And a lot of production companies, they don't seem to want me for whatever reason. Maybe it's because I do stuff like this where they think I'm crazy or I'm emotional or I'm bipolar or whatever. I don't know. Plus, I'm a little hard to work with because I request everything to be exactly what they tell me. Throughout my life, I've been a little bit hard to work with because I stand up for myself. I don't accept. Hmm. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you, you need a fucking job, not an agent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he needs to get a fucking reality check. But I, I don't know how that's check gonna happen because thing. he's like, you know, we did a Portland convention. Most of the time, um, if it's like, oh, if you like got uh, like to the point where you're living out of a box, it's like that's enough of a reality check. Like, wow, I've really like got to get a grip, man. It's my knife. I went for it because like, it's my knife. yeah, or kill, yeah. yeah. Either kill yourself uh, or fucking. Back. Oh, I don't. I don't remember the name. around. But um, all they get. Yeah, we be getting high. Little... We be getting high exactly. viewers this stream. We got twenty five people. We've had a, we were up at like twenty seven. I wonder if it's. I guess Joker that includes us. Send in some goons to try to fucking. I don't even know. Joker's like no, freaking I... out about us again. Yeah. Blaming us for his and, follies. Uh, oh, not not that exactly. But then when you know, like, trying to dissuade no people from looking at the, our stuff by airport. saying that um, we're racist. We had a dang couple delays or whatever. I think we he realizes food. that that's only just going to uh, filter no out plan. all the non-based the people. I was going to say it's it's the it's the coom troopers, the people who people can't post, so they're more determined to watch than ever. Yeah. There's only three coom troopers. Four. One. Two. Three. Four. <laughs> Five, five coom troopers. So yeah, that's like five people. <laughs> One of them's probably that fucking rat scraplet doing his master's bidding. We basically flew out like on a Friday, like at two o'clock. Then we got to the hotel at Friday night at like six o'clock, whatever time. Then they had podcasts and all death. these news cameras to interview us on Friday night for the event on Saturday. And then we barely got into the hotel and me and another person, well, I'll just say me. They were like, oh, you got to give us, um, you got to pay for the hotel. And then the production company will reimburse us. Doom, did you, Doom, did you ban the, the Himmler account too? Kittler's alt that he logged in before. <laughs> He was so stupid just... the other week with that, just like going back and forth on both. Himmler does like, so that's a yes. That's so dude. Yeah. That probably like pissed him off so much. I'm not Kittler. I'm part of the Kittler army. Okay, bye. <laughs> 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 I love I love Kittler just like I'm not Kittler. I'm part of the Kittler army. <laughs> when okay. you guys are done, they'll pay for the because they wanted to make the money from the show and then pay for the hotel. So <sighs> we were booked in the hotel room, but it wasn't prepaid. So they told us, hey, we're gonna everyone to starts doing a Spartacus <laughs> for the room, but I'm then when Kittler. they pay us back after you guys so, finish the show, yeah. you know that money will come back on your credit card. No, it's not how it works. That's crap. So I, I raised my voice. The people say, oh, Michael, relax. Relax. It'll be paid. Don't worry about it. Let's have a good time. Ooh. No. No. I'm tired. I had no food all day. They didn't pay for my travel. My Uber was like 60 bucks to the airport. Now I'm at a hotel, and they're telling me to give them $225. I'm tired. We just did podcasts, and we got to wake up at 8 o'clock in the morning, have a breakfast with the producers. Then we're going to do more podcasts and more interviews for the show that's at 4 o'clock. No. Pay for my That's called work. Dude, I, I dude, that's, uh, called, that's dude. called being a doing this. Yeah, it's that's called being a celebrity, fun. dude. Isn't that what you yeah. want? Isn't that the life that's, that you want? That's right not now, even not work. And you're gonna pay for everybody's hotel. I have to go stay yeah. in a hotel and oh, eat a course. breakfast for free, and, and then, then go do whatever. podcasting, and then, and then a show at four. Yeah, and like, pl oh, plug my shit. Dollars not doing it. And it. No way. And then I was like, "Can we get per diem?" It was Saturday, so we did all the podcast in the morning. And the event was happening at four or five o'clock in the evening. So we had like two or three hours. Now we're all just sitting there in the hotel. I'm like, can you guys give us some money to go buy lunch? Can you provide a lunch, please? They're like, oh, that's not our job. You know, you're here. I go, well, your job per diem, $50 a day, at least 
for lunch. You sold out. And I, then I threw it in their face. I go, you guys sold out. I know what I got. I, I know how much money you made. And then they're like, well, uh, if you want money, I go, well, then you need a hundred dollars. If it's per diem, $50 a day. I go, yes, I do. I want it. So then later in the day, do you think he's a show. nurse, like a and fucking L and A per diem? What excited. is he talking then the about? The producer walks in and he goes, he tells everybody, everybody be quiet in front of my cash members and my cash mates and everybody. Everybody be quiet. So I guess this is an I just want to let everybody experience. know on Michael's behest, we have paid the hotel. We have paid the hotel. And here is a hundred dollars for everybody because Michael said that you all wanted it and you needed it. Michael said it. Here it is. Wow, what type of power move are you trying to do that I did something wrong by asking for what we were due and just? And he did that. Oh, because Michael, because Michael, because so now I'm. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, dude. And all I, the I, all I, the yeah. other salute the shorts people are like, yeah, no, we're fine. Yeah, we don't need money. Yeah, no, we're not struggling. We uh, we have you know we're doing good. So I'm we sure either we either we're, we're still we we're, we're either money. still getting work or we're we have real jobs. You know? Yeah, we can we can afford lunch. <laughs> my own cash mate. Yeah. My own cash mate. That's insane. My own cash mate. And he did that. Oh, because Michael, because Michael, because so now I'm the villain. To my own cash mate. My own cash mate. Man, that That's must insane. have been so like, yeah, uncomfortable. I mean, what are you trying to make you look bad when you're just looking out for yourself and you're for your cash mate? It's like that's normal. Right. That's normal. Like what they were doing was completely wrong. Oh, honey, yeah, you're, you're too nice. Was low on cash yeah. as well. Didn't, didn't have a lot of money. I actually bought them their breakfast. Because luckily I had like, you know, $1,000 on my account at the moment, but they didn't have anything. And I actually bought them breakfast and stuff. And I'm like, this is ridiculous. You guys sold out. That means the money's there. Then they came in and they wanted us to find these live streaming affidavits. They were going to live stream it on YouTube to monetize it. And so they did this on Saturday, like an hour before the event. And they're like, here, sign the contracts for the event. Then I read it and I'm like, it says per diem here. You guys never paid that. And that's why I was yelling. And then it said, they're going to live stream the event and monetize it. And we cannot use any footage. We cannot use anything for ourselves from them filming it and live broadcasting it. So now on top of the selling out, they're going to make maybe a thousand more dollars somehow on merchandise or on YouTube or wherever with the video. And you guys still don't even want to pay for the hotel. Give us per diem. I ain't pre diem. Go f yourself. I'm not. Mike's got some pre diem running this entire time. Event. It's been because running I did sign that contract. This whole time. I signed a convention oh. contract, a public appearance contract. Uh, you know, a couple uh, a week before that, but I never signed the live streaming contract. And then so they were all mad at me, like every producer, everybody there. And I'm sure they're in the convention space. And I'm sure they talk to other promoters or whatever. Oh, Michael's an asshole. Michael, you know, Michael just doesn't go with the flow. You know what? Go f yourself, guys. They you want to they, they take advantage of you, and like because you wouldn't let them, they go fucking pissed. Again, they don't see it as taking advantage of us. They see it as we're an, a has been show. They put on a production. They gave us plane tickets, and you know what? They're definitely going to try to recoup their money or. Make you are a has been show. That's, yeah. com that's completely reasonable. What are these people just supposed to do it out of the kindness of their hearts, and not make the little amount of money? You know that they'd be making off of this. Just give it to you. Get out of here. Make some money, but they're doing us a favor, and we need to be grateful. That's the issue I have. But again, my other castmates are Michael. You live in a box. <laughs> you should be grateful. <laughs> like, come on. Truly care, dude. I have been in major movies with millions of dollars, and I see how they treat the people. Yeah, everything is taken care of. Like twenty like, plus years ago, we deserve. So we deserve that, at least to the best of your ability. Everything doesn't have to be perfect, but it should have been better. And I'll leave it at that. That's one reason why I possibly think agencies for conventions or other people are not bringing me on. Sucks. Yeah. I was like, Michael's like, he's an agent. He's an agent. Yeah. That sucks. Um, he's on, he's on there 12, 12 hours a day. He's on there 12 hours a day. He's an agent. Favorite movies? Now we're getting toward... There you go. We're in the segment that you kind of requested the other day or mentioned. <laughs> go ahead. Everybody in the chat room or, or you, ask me whatever you like. Okay. So I will oh, know. Okay. <laughs> I'm really into this. I'll be right back. It's good. Why would he be getting paid per diem?
for an event. Like, I don't understand why he's getting paid per diem. Why wouldn't he just get, like, a fee for appear an appearance <laughs> fee? He's supposed to be a celebrity. Oh, boy. No, God. yeah, he does sound like a whiny cunt. It's just what type of job is he doing where he's getting paid per diem? Like, that doesn't sound like acting. acting. Did you it's not. Do it's just an appearance. Do this? Or did you <laughs> well, like, why isn't he just getting paid for the appearance? Why is it like per diem? Well, like per diem is like when you're, uh, ah, shit. What is it? Like when you're not, you're not like working for the company or something like that. But I, I don't know. There were LNAs that I worked with that were, some were per diem. They like got paid a little bit more and they like, I, I don't I don't know. It was like they weren't they weren't on schedule. Per diem know. or daily allowance is a specific amount of money that an organization gives an individual, typically an employee, per day to cover living expenses when traveling on the employer's business. Okay. So but it's it's like expense it's like expenses people, paid, basically. Why would he be an employee of like whatever this convention you know what I mean? Right. I don't understand why he's like so is he like employed by this guy? Uh, what, let's see your question. I don't know. How did you start out acting? Did you? It was it your idea? Were you like, I always want to do this, or did your family or like your parents or whoever get you into it? That's a good question. How did that start? Well, that's you a good need question. To talk to my YouTube channel a little bit more, and I need to do the same for yours. I made a video called "How I Became an Actor," and it's a pretty interesting edited segment. So watch that one. But um, the low down rundown, if you don't get a chance to watch that video. Uh, I was in school and my father would work all day and he wouldn't be at home till like six o'clock in the evening. And school would let out in elementary at like two o'clock, two thirty, I think it was. And then I had nowhere to go for three or four hours because my mom wasn't living with us and my dad was at work. Um, so I just stuck around the school and hung out and, you know. Then they had a glee club. They had a glee club where they would perform, but you had to be in fifth or sixth grade to officially be in glee club. And I think I was in third grade now or fourth grade. So for two years, I would hang out in the auditorium while they would practice the teacher, Miss Anderson, let me do it. And then finally, when I was in fifth grade, I had to do an audition for glee club. And then, yeah, they allowed yeah. me in. And then long story short, we did a play, a musical. It became very popular and we got flown to the White House to do an event. It was in the newspapers and Quincy Jones and Michael Jackson's production company at the time came, filmed our show. We performed it at a museum in L.A., the L.A. Children's Museum. And then we also recorded our soundtrack. And then they also recorded us singing We Are the World. So there's a good possibility, and I don't know it for a fact, but we got paid and we had contracts that we are the children or some of them singing in the song We Are the World. But the timeline doesn't really add up. So I don't know how true that might be, maybe in the later renditions, but we did record singing that song in my Glee Club with a choir. This is going to be like a 10-minute long story. <laughs> yeah, and it's probably <laughs> it's very, full of errors and holes and all that sorts of <laughs> fucking that. wrongs. But that's how I became an actor. I performed in front of the White House. Um, uh, Quincy Jones and Michael Jackson's production company founded us. We performed in a museum. We got recognized by Ronald Reagan in the presidency. They invited us to a performance. Well, the White House. well, well, back, well, we well. Mm -hmm. And then I had coverage. Um, I put on my rapid Ronnie Reagan tape. My door. Oh, <laughs> we know who you are. We want you to be our an actor in our in our company and with our agency. And they were all. You know like, something? Oh, he did say well a lot. Your, your dad needs to take you to this magazine or this this and do this. And my dad's like, I ain't got a damn dime. I don't got no money. <laughs> I'm struggling. Yeah, Mike ain't doing that. <laughs> And then this one lady said, um, I'll pay for your acting classes. I'll pay for your photographs. And if you need a ride or anything to any audition or, or whatever we do in the future acting classes, you could even stay with me if you need to, if you would sign with my agency. So she did that for two years. Wow. Way to rape, repay like her memory, huh, Mikey, <laughs> by living in a box. First job, like in 88. It took the a couple of years bum. to get my first job. But yeah, that's how I became an actor. Oh, wow. It was fucking bum. Okay. How did you become a beautiful woman and a superstar? On your Doesn't show? remember her name. The woman that basically changed his fucking life. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what a fucking piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, you know, this, this woman stepped up and basically made it so I could get to all my auditions and paid for everything. I don't remember her name. <laughs> what a fuck. What a fucker. <laughs> I don't know.
know why that's so funny. <laughs> it's just like, uh. Numbers from for your shorts. You. Got the basic questions of base, basic. I love that show. That Everybody like, asked that, that like same show. question. What was it? Basic questions of base. Cast members from. Uh, do, you, yeah. do you keep in contact with um, the other cast members from Sweet Your Shorts? You got the basic questions of base, basic. I love that show. That Everybody like, asked that, that like same show. question. I'm just saying, think about it. If I just told you we did reunions, yeah, I know, you know, I know you see some of them, but some dude, don't blow it with her, man. Yeah, that was getting mad. Like that you, guys have you know done. what? That's a good point. That's a good point. Um, I mean, typically, I'm in. Contact. This is a good question, though. I'm curious about it. How often do you contact with every single one? It does not mean every day. Right. It, it does not mean we have our disagreements and we don't talk. <laughs> but they'll hit a thumbs up or a like or something like that on a video. Or when I oh my I asked God. for some help recently, you know, they helped me out. But I'm pretty sure we're all good. Unless, okay. you know, they're, they're not telling me. But you're right. They have their own lives, and some of them don't want to do the conventions. And sometimes you can't literally get a hold of them because they're MIA. They're off the grid. Um, like, we had an actor from the... <laughs> like the Indian from Hey Dude. <laughs> Banished. Like the Indian from Hey Dude, who no one knows. He's been missing for, like, 30 years now. Wizard, a uh, couple of weeks ago on the podcast. And I love him, and we're good friends, but he's MIA. Like... I have a convention agency that wants to sign me that is interested in him as he was talking about signing with him and I'm trying to get us all together and and he wanted it but he's MIA he just he doesn't want to do it dude know, whatever we go through is our own personal stuff you know I get you uh, all right um how about any other questions when am I going to marry you or something like that <laughs> I don't mind. I don't mind. I mean, did you ever watch me in any other shows or TV movie or movies? No, I didn't even know you were in anything else until I was, I watched one of your videos and you were talking Ooh. about movies you were in. Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at that face. Oh. I didn't even wow. know you were in anything else. It was, it was, you were in anything. I mean, did you ever watch me in any other shows or TV move or movies? No, I didn't even know you were in anything else until I was, I watched one of your videos and you were talking about movies you were in. And it was, it was like, what? It was <laughs> oh man. I caramba. It was like some movie His heart is like broken. Or something you were running and you like. Yeah, Bauer was, was, was an actor. My foot. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I yeah. sliced my, 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 my foot open. Yeah. That was called. She's out of control. Hey, and two that of the people movie. might be a guest on my show. Laura Mooney and Amy Dolans might be a guest on my show. That was, um, a, good, that was a good movie. It's a cute 80s movie. I, I, you know what? I should have recommended everybody on Valentine's Day to watch that movie. Because it's kind of like, you know, about a young girl coming into her own, becoming, going from the ugly duckling to the, the beautiful, you know, girl. And then her father has to, you know, allow her daughter to date men or go on dates. It's a really fun, like not rom-com, but like a comedy teen coming to their own teenage movie. And it came out in 1989. Slow down a little Trump bit, Studios. Mike. That was like my, I think, third or fourth job. So, Have you yeah. ever had a stalker, like legit, like somebody like harassing you? Like or... A ton. Oh, my yeah. God. I got, I, got, I got two people currently that I'm really, really nervous about. So everything I do, I'm just very, very afraid. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh, oh, who are those? Two, oh, who are those? Uh, oh, who are those two oh, people? Oh, oh shit! <laughs> two two people. <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah, currently, a ton. Oh yeah, God. I got I got I got two people currently that I'm really really nervous about. So everything I do, I'm just very very afraid, and um, I do what? I do. <laughs> Well, I know that like <laughs> some of your videos, like, don't you? I think your comments turned off for some of your your videos, and like I, I remember one of them, somebody was like saying crap to you and like harassing you. I'm like, what the hell is this person's problem? And like, I mean, I encounter stuff like that too on um, on YouTube. Like people are just it's horrible. It's like they'll attack you for no reason, or just like they just want to make you feel like crap, and like they leave these like horrendous comments. Holy like shit. That. And at first, I would get so mad, I would just be like, "F you!" <laughs> I would tell them off and stuff. But now people are so much meaner to him in his comments than we are to like him in our videos going over him, though. Yeah, but <laughs> he can deal with the comments. I think like it's just these videos cut deep because it's, it's criticism. It's the fact that this is yeah. 
after a while, I'm like, they literally, they just want attention. Like they want you to react, you know? So that's why I just like, I just stopped. No, we're them. used to him. He's not going to ever. Sometimes I'll leave the comment up or sometimes I just block them. And, or, and oh boy. Whatever. But I, I didn't know, because I saw that person doing that to you. And I'm just like, like, why is this person, I like, literally got mad. Like, why is he saying stuff to him? Like, like he's not even doing anything wrong. I just get like really mad with like people bullying, like other people. Yeah. yeah for some reason I'm in the category of 50, 50. You either love me or you hate me. There is no in between. And in today's world, you can't please everybody. But I'm in a very emotional person. I'm a very insecure. I bet he being. watches every I single thing we put I'm out on. I'm a very loving human being. I got the biggest heart. Start to finish. Me. And I know moments where I need to be the a hole. And I yeah, I don't think he does. I don't think he does watch us. I think he's afraid. <laughs> if he watched, if he if he watched the uh, that, as I said it in the video when we were going over it, the Faith Mystic. If he watched that video, he would have just killed himself. After. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. He refuses to help his dying brother. It's true. I will take on that responsibility of being the a hole, as we just spoke about with the convention scenario. And I've been through other scenarios as well, where I literally had to be an a hole and to some big people. I mean, I was on the the show Dark Angel with Jessica Alba, and some stuff went down, and I didn't. I stood up for her, and I handled some stuff. But um, well, I don't believe that's true. But if that is true, like that's <laughs> that's probably why yeah, you don't have a good career, dude. Like you're not in like a you're not in a position. You don't have a position of power in Hollywood. Yeah, you, you were on an episode of Dark Angel. You weren't on Dark Angel. You that's were a on good role there, Tab. Yeah, no, I mean that's yeah, and he handled yes. Jessica Alba. Sounds sounds like I mean. Jessica Alba was my favorite in like uh, growing hot. up. Yeah, she's hot. She was my number one gal, Jessica Alba. And it was because of that fucking dance movie that she was in. I don't even know what it was called. I recall that. Um, she that was in some dance than... movie where but her stomach know, was showing like the whole time. I'm a very insecure person and I'm a very emotional and I want to be loved. I don't know. I, I don't know. I just remember the commercials. I, I was too to young to see the movie. It. Oh, yeah. She was it. in Sin City, wasn't she? The commercials. Was she in Sin City? I haven't seen Sin City yeah. since it came yeah, out. She was. So I can't really, I don't really recall. Every guy to think I'm awesome and I just want hugs and kisses and that ain't reality. The reality is, like I said, people love you or hate you and I hate judgment. I hate yeah. the minute... People watch me and they hear my voice. Oh, let's make fun of him. Yeah, that's okay. That's that's us. Because no one, I mean, Red, like we said, Red, Red he, doesn't cover him anymore. Like there's do, and the clips aren't on YouTube. And there's there's, and there's uh, nobody else. There's there's about nobody him. likes I onions, mean, but he's not that consistent. No, there's yeah. we're we're hitting every video he does. You know what I mean? We're like on him. It boggles like my mind why Tars love that. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, why we love him because we grew up with watching his show. Well, he's just good content. For the yeah, show. but like we watched his show growing up, so this is personal. Well, you know, you could go back. Uh, we just started watching him on a whim because of his cooking videos, and then it just kind of yeah, you know, he came back and been following him. Because remember, he yeah, like we were watching. We were, for like nine months. we were watching his old content, and then like he came back with that video, and he was like, yeah, about really the toys, about his... yeah. Wasn't it about his toys when he had the toys? No, no, it was it was his first video back. It was like after COVID, and he just looked like he was ready to just end it. Yeah, remember we were it, we were streaming, and we just searched him. We're like, oh, let's maybe see if any old Bauer video. And it's like, oh my god, he put out a new video, but. He slurs his words. Are you drunk or are you just stupid? Like, wh why you got to meet people and judge them like that? They're just different. What's wrong with being different? Why do you got to point it out? It's just, it's just, so, I don't know. Do you, go, are you on TikTok at all? No, no, not, not at all. Um, I was worried about the Chinese people spying on me on all that stuff. That's like a waste of my um, more he's on Yeah, he drained the beef into his toilet and ate it. That's like legendary. I know you can open up a new audience. People are horrendous on on TikTok worse on there than they are on YouTube. People, Twitter is the worst. That is a Twitter legendary is thing to do. Yeah. Space. But um yeah, I mean I got people that come after me and 
I've had some events and things that I don't know what happened. They just end up not liking me. And then they have radio shows or they have podcasts with 20, 30, 40, 50,000 people. And then they watch my videos and they just make fun of me. Oh, he lied here. He's lying to that, you guys. That, that's, he's talking about somebody else. Me, me man is, me man is Faust, but he's been angry at me since I uh, told him to shut up about Tataria a few streams ago. Stop beating profit with Tartaria nonsense. Hey, let's the Tartaria knowledge. Oh, that's, or he does this, or he does that, or, and then, then his audience. Oh, Tartaria posts. So oh, he did. I think he lied. And then they, then they go on my profiles and my videos. You're in this, and you're in that. They don't even know me. Right. You're going off of what this guy is preaching, and you don't know the truth behind every situation or anything. Oh, never mind. It's Stephen King. It gets scary, though. It gets really scary because a lot of people, they, they they find your address sometimes and they dox you and you start getting phone calls, you get threats, and then they tell you, all right, let's, you know, let's end it. Get come on our show. <laughs> come on our show and be a guest. You know, we'll end it. We love you. We actually love you. We're just messing around. It's whatever all fun. We're comedians. Wait a second. You showed videos of my father and made fun of how he walked. You showed videos of me talking, made fun of my brother and this and that. My father died in a video. And then you guys said, why would you even show that? You're disrespecting your father. Like, yeah, that was us. And now now they want me to be on their show. <laughs> Wait a minute. He's just been talking about us. Oh, I've, I, I was, yeah. oh. He's like you know, ranting you're, about you're, us. You're, 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 you're in this, you're in that. They don't even know me. Right. You're going off of what this guy is preaching. And you don't know the truth behind every situation or anything. So, but it gets scary though. It gets really scary because a lot of people, they, they, they find your address sometimes and they dox you and you start getting phone calls. You get, oh, that's not us. Fretch. Well, none of that's happening. And then they tell but you, listen. all right, let's, you know, let's end it. Get, come on our show, come on our show and be a guest. You know, we'll end it. We love you. We actually love you. We're just messing around. It's all in good fun. We're comedians. Wait a second. You showed videos of my father and made fun of how he walked. You showed videos of me talking, made fun of my brother, and this and that. My father. I, I don't know what he's talking about. Well, this next part where he says we made fun. We this is what we did say to him right here. We'll play this. Died next in part. a video, and then you guys said, "Why would you even show that?" You're disrespectful. When his dad's in the hospital, and we said, "Why would you show this video?" Remember oh, okay, that? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, we did. Yeah, Mike. Right, yeah, fair enough. Play, but that he's talking about videos from way back. From like the very beginning when we were like, we're just kidding, Mike. We want you on our show. Yeah, no, me, ma'am, it is killer. You're right. But um, and now, now they want me to be on their show to, you know, shake hands or have a not anymore an olive branch. Go f your no. That's that's wanna... ended. He's completely that's, mis. That's he's completely he's though. completely misread everything. There was never yeah. any sort of like forgiveness. We just wanted you on the show. To have you yeah. Punch. And then you just like blew it. You just didn't want it and you didn't want to get paid and you never wanted to. Yeah. So there's never been like, we don't want you on here now. I mean, if he did say he'd come on here, I guess. Yeah. He's just. He it's, takes it's, his delivering boxes. Huh? I don't know. This is funny though. Part of that negativity. Go ahead. Yeah. Continue making fun of me, making your videos and whatever. Yeah. I don't awesome. want to be a part of that world. I don't want to be a part of it. I 100% agree with you. Yeah, so it's still happening right now. There's there's some major entities that work against me, and um, <laughs> major like, entities into my real life with other people, where they get a hold of family members or agents, and then they start putting stuff into their head, and then now I get questioned because of them. I'm not hold on. Pause business. for a second. See, there's there's okay. Well, wait, 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 there's wait, a bunch wait, wait, of wait, wait. there's a bunch no, of no, moving no, no. parts here that we're wait, not wait, aware wait, of. Wait, wait, wait. Well, no, 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 no. I reached out to that faith mystic girl. And oh I said that yeah, Mike, that's right. You did. And I, said that, and I said that Mike said they were dating, and she commented back, and I was like, no, 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 no. He said that you're dating. Because you know what I mean. So. Yeah. She probably went to him and was like, "Mike, why are you saying that we're dating?" And he's probably fucking pissed. Head. It's probably over that. It's probably over that because I, I went. Be she. Yeah. I don't want to be a part of it. I, I 100% agree. With it's you. probably over that. Yeah. So, it's still happening right now. There's there's some major entities that work against me, and um, it bled into my real life with other people, where they yeah. get a hold of family members or agents, and then they start putting stuff into their head and then now i get questioned 
because of them. I'm not watching your videos. I could expose all of you. I could. I could, I could find millions of lies or whatever in anything, but I, I choose not to. I, I'd rather spend my time getting to know Midnight Owl and talking about movies and gothic culture and all that other stuff than harassing and critiquing other people for just trying to make a living and to be themselves. Mike's finally snapping about us. He's snapping on us. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. You know what? Maybe we should do that. We'll get together one night. All right, guys. So the interview is coming to a close. So Midnight Owl, let everybody know about your YouTube, your Instagram while I put it on screen. Let them know what you're doing in life and what you got coming up and how they can maybe get to know you a little bit more or entertain you or support you. Okay. So like I said, I'm Midnight Owl on YouTube. And that's where I have the most fun, I feel like. And I that's where you get to know me the most. <laughs> a lot of times I'll do like, you know, like vlogs talking about I don't know that. things I like. I talk about music. I talk about like, you know, gothic fashion. These long Bauer and vids are good. Do, they do well. To do travel yeah, they vlogs. They do well on the YouTube. Um, just do a different People love the Bauer. Like, near me. People like, love the Bauer content. You know, um, a lot of cool places. I don't want to be making them that crazy. Like, every, like come on, dude. We're really getting under your skin that much. And stuff like that, and like you can explore. So I usually do. Dude, we're light criticism. God forbid so something else. Like, God forbid, like check out stuff like that. Go he like, gets a movie and role in something. Um, you know what I'm saying? And there's like pop or anything. It's like look at how bad his lifestyle is. Or anything. Uh, I, I like Instagram, but I feel we're like nobody's talking about it. Like, oh, okay, I got you. Know, you. All young people don't go on there, but I like it because I like the artistic side where you can do it. He's fucking and have certain pictures and stuff. Like I just, I like looking at other people's. Um, pictures and images too and yeah no uh, we've completely like gotten under his skin well shit man and, like you know talk one-on-one -on -one and people and just have fun talk about, like, do that video i don't care man that video when he's uh blowing the party streamers in uh his like dying dad's face is hilarious <laughs> yeah no dude that's crazy like what the fuck do you expect mike you know i mean like you're like in your dead dad's like uh like, hospital room something nothing like like what the fuck I have some self-awareness <laughs> but um i just like it's fun. it's fun to talk to other people you know what i mean like you're so people. humble you're so humble and yeah. i just i love you more like more. okay if you want to film it film it but don't put it on the line so humble you're so humble and yeah. i just i love you more and more the more we talk because with, oh, with you know words like that so... when you say oh you know i don't have a big you just swallow when he did that with with oh. humble you're so humble and yeah. i just i love you more and more the more we talk yep. yeah <laughs> yeah you gotta run you gotta block him sweetheart with, like, you're so this humble. is one you block so humble and yeah. i just i love you more and more the more we talk because with, yep. with you know, <laughs> words like that where you say oh you know i don't have yeah, a big a she's 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 getting uh she's getting very fidgety following or yeah. i don't i don't make a lot only humble people speak like that so I just wanted to say you're a very humble individual and you changed my thought process on what I typically thought was the goth culture. I thought it was more satanic of nature. No, it's a very, so it's very um, inclusive of like everybody from every different like walks of Dude, life. you talked about that for like five <laughs> minutes. Um, really? Like, yeah. Like, like, like there was almost no goth talk. Everyone. If you know, like, if you're it's like, all, you know, and the interview's like, almost like, over, Jerry. Like, and like elitists and stuff. Like, that we're not, we're not about that. Like, Sit tight. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll watch some midgets here in a bit. Yeah, we'll watch the midget show next. I enjoy this midget wrestling show. Yeah, I really it's pretty do. entertaining. I, I know. Did you find yourself like wanting to watch it? Yeah. Or, or like, they, or like, I was like thinking today, I was like, oh, I hope we watch that tonight. <laughs> Shock value, like all that stuff, or like you said, like the, making fun of people just to get it's just midgets, man. They're fun to watch. Like, man, I want to hang out with you and first off, listen to some metal, oh, yeah. let you play the guitar, some 80s oh, hair metal, and like Metallica. And, and and then uh, on top of that, I'm pretty sure you have an open um mind. And I want, I would love, and I can only dream about it. But if you ever want to, I, I was gonna, I was gonna say, Faust, your you're having to come toward what just I log in as Uncle Buck. Let me know. How many? How many? How many official accounts scary, do you have it's on? Here? Really scary. It's like, where, where, where? Man. Like, like there's, if you, they call it your third eye. Like five hundred. They call it your third eye. All right. I'm not saying you don't have a third eye. You may have a third eye for many different subjects, but for what I'm talking about with what I'm into. Faust, I was watching a bunch of fucking Roger Clemens stuff theorist. the other day. Oh yeah, we got to watch that one bit of that guy pooping oh, on. Oh George, Brett. but that's only like three and a half minutes. Oh, I know, but I got it. I got it. Your eyes awakened. 
it's like a relationship. You get angry, George you Brett. show everybody the truth, you know, but you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink. So if you're ever interested, let me know. And we can sit down, we can have a private conversation, we can watch some videos and uh, and um Jesus know each Christ. other better and have a good time. But maybe Holy I can bring shit. it to the light. And then on a future, why would he do this like, on stream? Michael, my God, my oh. mind is blown. Like, I end the stream and shoot your shot, shit. you fucking idiot. I believe idiot. you now. Like, oh my God. I mean, she's don't ready do it. to go. I love that moment. Yeah, she's happen. done. But more she's importantly, I want to dance with you. Chair. She's sweating. And live some retro nostalgia. Everybody, I'm, check out I'm, I'm, I would be sweating. All the information for I'm sweating her watching this. And ways to support her are in the description below. And on a future show, hey. Maybe we'll invite her again, and we'll talk a bunch of different things. No, you're never going to hear from her again. Because I want good people, big-hearted individuals, and humble people unique on this show moving forward. Midnight Owl, I have to ask everybody this question at the end of every episode. I know you don't believe in aliens, but are you leaving this show a happy alien? I am a happy alien. I had an amazing time on this podcast. Like, I just, we just like laughed. We got to know each other better. We like got to talk about some like conspiracy yeah. stuff, <laughs> some freaky stuff. It Illuminati like so card much. game, baby. Yeah. Get into it. <laughs> it was so much fun. I, really I don't know. Maybe she'll end up fucking sucking his dick. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> maybe. Maybe, Mike. I don't know. Maybe you'll get some fucking goth pussy. I had the best time. Thank you so much. I love you. (laughs) All right. Stick around. We'll show the outro and then me and you will talk a little bit. But for now, I want to say thank you for Brent Mania, all my exclusive members that joined today's live stream. Uh, Music Man, Brent Mania. The goth mommy. Uh, Born Mush. Bowers uh, Goth Hatt. Mommy. Everybody, thank you guys so much for He's supporting. He's 49, Everything though. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. It'd, pretty, it'd be good for him, honestly, this chick. Some Goth Mommy. Yeah, why not? I like how this logo, like, tilts. Yeah. Like that? At a, at a super low frame rate. <laughs> <laughs> What is happening here? I love the music. It's like Mike, he worked in television. This is what you think is good? And like, this is sped up, so it's going slower. You know what I mean? It like moves at such an awkward, it's not even, it just looks bad. That looks so bad.